Good morning, good morning. I'm channeling Ava Perron. Good morning, good morning to you and you and you and you, Deborah. I'm so excited. It's our first show together. It is. Now you might get yeah. stuck under a table. I might. Don't worry. Just ignore just me. We've had this conversation. Uh, Deb might actually. She keeps having to go to, under the table, and it's quite a bizarre position you have to do to get things from under the table. <laughs> so she might get stuck. So that'll be exciting <clears throat> TV. That's where our BAFTA's going to come from. Well, a yeah. very good morning. I'm really, really excited. What can we expect to see from you in today's show, at Deb Orange? We've got um, some absolutely gorgeous beads in, um, in the kits today and loads of cord, which is fantastic. Well, Lots yeah, of little yeah, knots. Yeah, 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 whatever. Whatever you've just said, you're downplaying it. Oh, my word. She's downplaying herself. The talent <laughs> of this woman is ridiculous. It knows no bounds, according to Director <laughs> Glenn. It knows no bounds. So, I'm about to show you a set of jewellery that isn't a part of today's show, but it's going to give you a flavour of today's show. And the kits really, really, really embrace this genre, this medium, this element of jewellery making. Can you text him, please? How ridiculous. How ridiculously fabulous. This is incredible, Deb. And I know that I was obviously looking at it earlier, but when you actually yeah. hold it and to wear this, this has all been made out of beading thread. Seriously, seriously. Look at this. Look at this. It is just stunning. Carrie, can we get really, really close on this, please? So we're focusing in with elements of today's show on the technique of micro macrame. Now this, using beading thread, it's given it structure. It looks ridiculously, fabulously elegant. I can almost, yeah. I mean that is catwalk. It's stunning, it's stunning. It's a piece of artwork, Deb, it's stunning. Look, I know for a fact you are gonna get inundated with messages today. Look at the tech, look, look. It's the easiest macrame technique. It's, it's half hitch and that's it. So just dead simple knotting around cords. How long have you been doing macrame? I started in the 1970s. In the, she started in the womb. She started micro macrame with her very own umbilical cord. Oh, oh Lucy. <laughs> I do apologise if talking about your umbilical cord. Everyone's had an umbilical cord. It's how we. It's, it's completely That's funny. natural. <laughs> All right then, uh. she didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Should we have a look at this one? Am I made of faux pas? <laughs> oh. Let's have a look at this one. <laughs> I think we know how today's show is going to go, don't we? Oh dear. Ooh. It's just <laughs> beautiful. Well, I don't think there's a problem with saying that. Do you think there's a problem saying that, Kerry? Do you think it's just funny? I think <laughs> Claire, Derek, Declare and Producer Kim are just a bit like, what? What? <laughs> Do you know what? The fact that you find the talk of umbilical cord repulsive, you obviously haven't done childbirth. Right no. then. Oh, that's the least of your worries. Okay, so. Deb, it is just stunning. <laughs> the red declaration has gone. Can you imagine if you went for a scan and you're pregnant? Oh, they're doing a bit of microbiome in there. Hang in. <laughs> it is tapestry in its early stages. <laughs> I've just been going, here mum, here's your bracelet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Deb! <damn. laughs> We're only four minutes in. Oh, oh Uti Ma, oh, flip dear. this now, have a look. Oh, look at this. Now, this is polymer clay and micro macrame. Let me <coughs> see, what can I, if I put this, I haven't offended anybody saying that, have I? Have I upset anybody no, by talking? Funny. I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> I thought Claire just said, Claire just said I've got to restart this computer. I thought she was going to say I'm going to have to restart the show. show. <laughs> I'm going to have to. Yeah, we're live. 
Now, that's amazing <laughs> as well. So what technique have you used here? Um, that's square knots and then using um, double half hitch going down the side of wow. the square knots. Yeah. And, and then just threading the bead, the gemstone on. Stunning, and then bringing it with the polymer clay. With the polymer clay tiles, Gorgeous. Yeah. So Deb, for those people, because obviously it's our first show today, and as yes. we've established, you started making micro macrame <laughs> in the 1970s. So how long have you been making jewellery then? Since about the 1970s? Since about then, yeah. And so yeah. And what sort of genres and mediums do you go for um, usually? Well, my nan taught me how to use the bead loom when I was about 12. <laughs> and we've got the bead loom in the show today. <laughs> on offer, the bead loom in the show today. Okay. Um, <laughs> You're right there. Yeah, You're crying. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and and I instead of um, playing with dolls and and sort of whatever um, you do with dolls, I don't even know what you do with it. Um, I made them clothes and jewellery in, instead, and gave them haircuts. They all had like really short hair because I chopped all the hair off. But um, so you've all been always been a bit uh, forever, yeah. Creative forever. or peculiar? If you yes, yes. <laughs> chopping hair yeah. off. I yeah. know. I think no. I absolutely know what you mean. So I, I sort of dolls. built yeah. them a house out of shoe boxes and things. and So you've always sort of taken the basics and create, everything's been created. Yeah. So where do you stand now in the jewellery world? Do you have a business? Are you selling? How are you selling? And how to sell? How, who, um, who are you, Deb? Who am I? Um, I often ask that question <laughs> of myself when I wake up in the morning. Probably more so after yeah. today's show as well. Yeah. Um, so I, I've been working on a, on a lot of regeneration and design-based projects. Oh, wow. Um, I'm, I've run a lot of creative workshops, um, doing sort of community art stuff and things like that. Oh, fantastic. Um, so where are you from? So I, I was, grew up in Northamptonshire, but I live in Staffordshire, okay. Shropshire sort of border at the moment. Um, been there for about 10 years. So I, I was made re redundant in January from my nine to five job. Um, so I now make jewellery full time. So I'm just setting up my website and it's trying amazing to do how Facebook many people have had a horrible incident like losing your job yeah. or um, you even losing a close family member to give them a, a different pathway. Yeah. And are you enjoying it? I'm loving it. Well, I I trained as a silversmith and jewellery designer at college. Fantastic. So wow. it's taken a long time to get here, but yeah, I'm I'm loving it. Absolutely loving that I can do what I trained for. Fantastic. So, well, we yeah. are loving having you here. Thank now, if you've you. got any questions for Deb throughout the show, obviously we are currently live. If you're watching it, coming up for ten past nine on this Saturday morning. And we are going to kick start the show today with a matrix box of findings. Now, there's an element of these definitely which lends itself completely to Kumihimo because you've got the ends for cords if you're doing Kumihimo braids, but also macrame braids. But also, you can use these simply as charms. You can really manipulate them to fit into your designs how you want them to. So you're going to get four um, portions of this, uh, sorry, four sort of different areas of this little box are um, kumihimo ends and then the others are ribbon cord ends slightly different from what we typically see in a kit now you are actually going to get the actual box itself as well these are rose gold plated so it's not just a rose gold color they are actually rose gold on top of copper here oh uh -oh. <laughs> it's all right it's all right we're here we're here it is going to be one of those shows today. Join us, folks, if you haven't got a clue what's going to happen, because we haven't either. Right. Um, Kumihimo ends, or cord ends. Deb, you can use these within micro, well, within macrame as definitely, well, can't you? Definitely, yeah. They make it um, really nice, tidy ends to your bracelet or necklace, whatever yeah, you're making. Yeah, because you can just um, tuck the cords in. Yeah, Do you tend to use yeah. a specific glue? Um, well, I, I use a lot of... Um, like the gel-based glues, yeah, because so like they the don't run everywhere, website. and yeah, they don't soak up your cord and change the colour. Um, so, so they're always good. And I tend to get into a bit of a mess with glue. I'm, I'm, I've stuck my fingers together when I was demoing on on air once, so that was good. Um, so yeah, the the sort of thicker gel-based ones are better. Okay, cool. I find. 
So, with these as well, I'm just thinking this is, this is for anybody who does any cord techniques or braiding, um, macrame, kumihimo, this is a dream scenario because have a look, you've got different lengths, um, slightly different lengths, but different sizes of cord ends. This is the whole collection that you are going to be receiving. So, you've got the actual cord ends all along here. They also really remind me of little doll's houses so if you were to yeah. go, <laughs> here's a little pea that I've made of polymer glaze little hats. in the dinner. Yeah, or little hats. So there's the collection that you're seeing there. So these are the cord ends. You can see that they've got the drill hole through the top and you can use these in so, 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 so many different ways. They're also really lovely just as simple charms, particularly if you mm. sort of venture into collections of steampunk and that yeah. sort of thing as well for bigger looks. Well, they make um, really nice tassel tops. So if you cut loads of, or when you get all your off cuts from your cord, save them and then glue them into the little acorn hat and you've That's got a really lane. nice Just tassel. Just on a lovely long chain. On a chain, yeah. Gorgeous. And then can you see the ribbon cord ends there? Now the size of these, for those of you who know the work of Debbie Kershaw, who's our stamping expert here at Jewelry Maker, these do work amazingly when they're stamped because then you can personalise and you can actually spread those out. You can take your pliers and make that into effectively one large blank. So they are absolutely gorgeous. The colour of them is stunning and you've got an S class. Now you can see these as ribbon cord ends with an extender chain and then the S class. You're going to get that four times over with slightly different sizes. Honestly though, you can chop that up and use them as all individual components. So there's 14 in total. Now we've already got people multi-buying apparently. How about if we do these at 9.95? Do you think that's good? This is your early bird. We like to catch the worm with the early bird. No idea what I meant by that. Free phone number <laughs> 0800. Six double four, six double five. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to Jewelry Maker. This is our early bird to kickstart the day. XMAZ20. Congratulations to those of you who are already bought by. It's at 6.95 on offer this morning. Most people are actually buying more than one. We've got people buying twos and threes typically here. 6.95, one post and packaging price all day. And of course, we've got a weekend of absolute, well, who knows what might happen, but incredible offers fantastic fantastic techniques to be seen in today's show a really different element that we're bringing to you this is very very refreshing it's a completely different take on macrame that really complements all the other macrame that we have because obviously we've got mark and um mark smith and debbie bulford who also um focus in on macrame but debbie's bringing a whole completely different element to it and i think what's great about the way our designers work is they're all going to complement each other really really nicely mm -hmm. which is why i'd love to do another fusion piece like we had for the birthday yeah, where all different brilliant. designers can bring in their own take be great if we could do that like every six months and it'd be fantastic right look at the quantities flying out good morning to everybody there we're gonna have a busy day by all accounts apparently it's gonna absolutely chuck it down outside um later on so apparently it's gonna be pretty minging weather today oh the joys of the april showers in may <laughs> don't you think we're turning into a country that's one <laughs> seasonal yeah yeah i was um uh taking all the photographs off my phone uh, a couple of days ago and I haven't done this for months and months probably years ever um, and <laughs> putting them onto the laptop I and that. it's so exciting because you go oh I remember that <laughs> um, but there was um, a little film little bit of video footage of it snowing in May in I think it was 2012 really yeah in, in my in back May. garden mm, in May yeah. What's the world coming to, eh? What's it coming to? Kerry, can you believe it's snow in May? Now, if you've just <laughs> tuned in, don't worry. We're not forecasting snow this May. No. We're just saying <laughs> that it's not particularly nice out there. Stay in, make get yourself some amazing jewellery and get some really incredible techniques under your belt today. Perhaps some different elements as well that you've not thought about buying before or those that you're looking to replenish. Can I just say, we've got in today's show, we've got wooden beads for the first time I have presented Ooh. them in this studio. Can I show them to you? They're amazing. They're absolutely amazing. Oh, they're cute. <laughs> you know, yes, I totally remember that. We're talking about the um, 
the last time we did wooden beads, there was a little bit of a faux pas on the JM Hub magazine. Now, I can't repeat it on air, but if you do recall that situation, and we had sales manager, he wasn't, it was a floor manager then, but now sales manager Scott on the front, and it was really, it was, it was a big faux pas that we did. Do you remember? It was naughty. We think there might be a copy upstairs, in which case I can show it to you, but I can't say it out loud. It was a bit naughty. Anyway, moving on. So these are going to be coming up for you later. I've also got the most beautiful pink sapphires coming your way. Now, these pink sapphires, to be honest, Deb, because mm. of your design today, I'm looking at using them in a different way because there's a really delicate, really delicate yes. element with what you're, you've created that gives... Yeah, very, very elegant, flowing, almost... almost lace feel. Yes, yeah. So I think that what you've, you're creating would really complement Sheila's work with yeah. the bridal with the lace elements. Because yeah. yeah. obviously we've got a bridal macrame look with which the DVD's coming out very soon of Mark's actually. It's fantastic. It's a stunning DVD. But this is again a different look. Again, that I'm, I'm sure Sheila would love to collaborate with you. Mm, that oh, would be why really don't nice. we do that? Let's get Deb and Sheila to collaborate on a piece. That would be fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, yeah to bring really a lace, almost making your own lace with a macrame element. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So beautiful, beautiful, beautiful sapphires also on their way. And while, as I take you through the show today, you'll see how these really fit in the whole feel. Um, sorry about that. What did I just drop there? The yeah, mm -hmm. Um It's a good job. It's a very hard gemstone. Um, a real, yeah, you'll get the whole feel of the whole. The show today is beautiful. It's a very beautiful, inspiring show with some big, chunky, funky elements along the way as well. Right, we've got lots of those um, have already gone. We've got lots of you still waiting on the phone line to be answered. Do just continue to hold the line. We'll be with you in a moment. You do get the storage box on that as well. Um, Amelia, this collection here, this Amelia, who's also known as our cat, uh, but also our floor manager today. I'm going to just leave these on the desk hung because I might get a chance to show you them later, to everybody later. Right at the top, by the way. She went, thank you. She obviously likes it too and likes the way she looks. Are you feeling funky, Amelia? Ish. Ish. She's feeling funky ish. Now, Ava Perron. Oh, this is because I came to work with my hair wet this morning. That's how much, you know why? I got completely distracted because my mum and Charlie are having a crafting day at home today oh. and I wanted to help get all the paints and things set out. I got really excited. I'm jealous. I am. I love I those days. Wait. Can you imagine when he can start making jewellery? When he can do <laughs> beading? When he makes his first bracelet? I'll be so proud. Right, Deb, challenge today. Oh. Challenge. Oh, I tell you, it's yeah. an absolutely whopping kit. Huge, huge, huge opportunities with size, colour, different materials. We've got it all going on. Now, I've got to warn you, as much as you can get those out of this, knowing Deb's designs, it's probably going to be quite intricate, so we might not see a vast amount of jewellery made, but what we will see made will be amazing. So don't feel... <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> it will be amazing, Deb. You will be fantastic. Okay? Okay. No pressure okay. on that. Right. We're looking he at here... Um... Really? Okay. We're going to do an incredible offer on this, I mean, it's a big collection, big, 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 big. Let me talk you through the threading materials first off. Now, hemp cord, obviously, with the work that Deb does, there's lots of different genres that she goes into, but we've established she's been macrame since the 1970s. <laughs> uh, the hemp cord is here. Now, you're going to be getting <coughs> 10 lots of 10 yards in those really fab, really summery, feel good colours and at the same time if I turn it around you've got the more neutral palette in there as well. Now in terms of other cords we've done a big 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 selection. I don't think we've ever done this amount in a kit before. I might you get all of this amazing. Okay so this is fantastic. The satin cords you're gonna get the orange, the pink, the butterscotch and the peach and the red okay so those are your satin cords you're gonna get those you're also going to get the suede et in the blue and the silver, uh, so the blue and the pink. And they've got a slight sparkle to them. Can you see that? Really, really gorgeous. So you've got the light blue sparkle and the pink sparkle. And then in terms of the wax cords, you've got 
They're a millimeter thick and you get 10 meters of each. So you're going to get 10 meters of the wax cord, 10 meters of the satin cord, and five meters of each of the um, suede. So that's 10 meters on each wheel. One, two, three, four, five, six, 70, 80 meters of colored beading threads, uh, sorry, threading materials in satin cords, wax cords, and suede. You're also gonna be getting all the hemp cords. Now this obviously is a Kumi Hemo macrame workers <laughs> at Absolute dream, <coughs> palpitatory yeah. fabulousness of fabulousness. And then also the other threading materials as well. And I am completely looking at beading thread in a new light after seeing Dev's design today. I'm going to show you that when I go back to my desk again shortly, actually, because it's truly inspiring. Using beading thread, now you're going to get 50 meters of beading thread, 6 meters clear elastic, and 80 meters of monofilament in there. But this kit, you're also going to get, I mean, it's going to last you. You're going to be able mm. to make tons of jewellery so if you're selling your jewellery you should be seeing pound signs for the materials that you're using now this is 115 findings in here which of course includes a meter of chain these are the flower ones which i've got to warn you are really being phased out this is now you're hardly going to see any more of these at all and with all the collection that you're seeing with the flowers they will be gone in the next couple of weeks. We are just bringing in some new shapes, quite frankly. So you've got the flower shepherd hooks in there and the spacers and the connectors, as well as, of course, all the head pins, which includes 15 of the flower slash star head pins. Now, I haven't even finished. This collection alone is amazing. And don't you think, if we were to say 29.95 for the lot, it'd be fab. Should we bring in three strands of genuine gemstones into the mix? And that's something that we really need to focus in on again, of course, because I've said this uh, quite frequently on the show of late. I think I certainly can get very complacent that these are out of the ground genuine gemstones. They are not man-made, they're yeah. not factory-made, yeah. they're not plastic, they aren't churned out. Mother Nature has created these and they are stunning. And the reality is you can pay an absolute fortune for gemstone jewelry just because it's a gemstone, it doesn't even have to be particularly rare or good quality. Just because it's a gem, the premium goes up. Our prices are incredibly, incredibly competitive. Wait till I bring this into the mix. Okay, mm -hmm. so let me get some sizes for you. These are 14 by 14. Now it's classified as a swirl coin. Um, you've actually got a slight, you've got a real movement on it in terms of the carving. Now it's all a genuine gemstone. It's gone through a dyeing process, but that is a genuine gemstone. Take a look at the natural banding, the natural markings that are on those. They're really, really stunning. So they're 14 by 14 millimeters. You've then got my absolute favorite color for the summer. I adore this. If any of you have been fortunate to go to Santorini <coughs> in Greece, it's where they filmed Mamma Mia. They filmed a lot of it in Santorini. Um, you know, the, obviously the uh, blue domes on the white buildings, this just gives me a feel of it's lovely, isn't Grecian it? gorgeousness. Mm. And then, of course, again, that banding. So that isn't painted on. That is a natural banding that has naturally occurred from Mother Nature. And then the way that the dyeing process has worked, it takes the dye, takes at different points in the natural banding, which gives you an emphasized look on what's naturally occurring. And then this is classified as a red agate. I'd say mm. it looks a little bit more like a carnelian slash peachy moonstone peachy eventually. It looks a bit sunstone as it's well. It's very, yeah, yeah, very much so. But it is classified as a red agate. You're gonna get a ridiculous <laughs> price. Now have a look at those. They're all 38 centimetres in length. This is a big kit. This is a big value for money kit. It's great value for money, particularly with your post and packaging as well, because of the size of it and the weight of it, because of how much you've got here. Now, we should be looking, if you were to buy everything individually, and you can go on the website now and buy everything individually, and it would come to 53 pounds, sorry, 53 pounds and five pence, okay? 53 pounds and five pence to buy everything individually. Now this was going to go to 34.95. It was then taken to 27.95, but Kim just decided, you know what? We're going to actually slash it a little bit more so we can say you have 100% saved 50% by using the code at the top of your screen, OGGC87. The price is coming down. Free phone number. It should be 53 pounds and five pence. And today it's 26 pounds and 52 pence. Bang on, actually you're, you're actually saving an extra little penny. 26, <laughs> 52, Excellent. half price. That's amazing. Half price. 
because at 53 pounds and five pence, we were already stupidly competitive compared mm -hmm. to everyone else in the industry for everything that you get. And at 26.52, categorically, 100%, you cannot get this kit at this price anywhere else. You can't even get it from us tomorrow morning at nine o'clock because the price will go back to all of individual prices that would equate to 53 pounds and five pence. Now we've got big quantities in today's show because obviously we're aware that we have a very, well, we've got a very in-demand look taking place in the show. We've got very in-demand products in today's show. OGG C87, this is going quickly already before you've seen any jewelry that Deb's made. So Deb, what are you thinking, my lovely? Um, well, I'm always drawn to blues and greens and greys. So I'm thinking I'll leave that one till last. <laughs> because then I, I'm gonna mix the oranges and the pinks Okay. Um, and I'm thinking I'm going to mix the different chords so within one piece so you get different textures going on. Fab. So the satin cord with the hem cord with the wax <coughs> cord with the yep. suede? Yep. All in one piece? Possibly. I'm not going to guarantee it. But you'll certainly be Two having a three. play. Yeah. Yeah. That'll be great because I think certainly when I've been doing it, I'd stick, stick to one type, maybe use a bit of beading thread as the lazy strand and. Well, it's nice to mix them because you get different scales and um, I mean the, the shine on the satin cord is gorgeous mm. and that combined with like the that hemp the red of the hemp would yeah. work really nicely so we'll see I'll, I'll get it all out chuck it all on the desk and I'm See excited. Yeah. I'm really, really excited. Well, thank you so much for being here. Remember, of course, you can text in your questions to Deb um, on six zero trouble seven. It should be he did, but you ba 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 Totally lost my ability to speak. Now we're going to come to the first kit imminently. Okay. So before you start, yep. can I? Because I just want to show off your pieces. In fact, could you yeah. grab us a piece? First kit is the blue one, isn't Are it? We're doing the blue one first, Kim. That one. Okay. Come over to the desk with me. Come on. <coughs> and I'm going to take this with me. This will be coming up for you very, very shortly. And this, you. <laughs> Producer Kim has just gone. That piece of jewellery is ridiculously amazing. Really? Kim saying she asked Deb before the show, does it take lots of patience? And you said no. Uh, so no. you could do it, Kim. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my word. I think you're in trouble if you want to do it now and have it finished in two minutes flat. How long it did won't. it take you? That one took me a day. It did take a while. But uh, saying that, if I was designing it as I went along. I mm. sort of had an idea how I wanted it to look. Um, it but I was, I was sort of working yeah. it out as I went along, so. Now, even the way that you've used the findings, woman, you're ridiculous. I love that toggle clasp. Absolutely love it. Is that a whole complete toggle clasp? It's, or that's the well, apart from the T-bar, which I used in the bracelet um, this is a different do you know what it's a different it's a different findings pack I'm yeah. excited so we've got a different findings pack and that's going to be our first kit that we're going to do in just a few minutes right Kim where to next then okay we're gonna do a monster threading bundle we've got a hundred and forty meters a hundred and 40 meters of threading material. 140, can we how many? 140. There are 140 meters there. It's such a lot. My name is Carrie and it's 140 meters. Do you know what? She just, uh, she speaks at completely normal level in the real world. As soon as she knows there's anything to do with the TV camera. Oh, oh, oh. Apart from the birthday show, you were, how many donuts had you eaten in only one and you had that sugar kick? We need to get that girl more donuts. Right. This is a beautiful, 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 beautiful collection. Um, and actually, I could do with separating it out in a slightly different way. I 
I'm going to I'm going to redo it all. I'm going to lay it all out. There's just so much of it. 140 meters going less than 30 pounds for all of it. 140 meters. Now, oh. Where to start? Where to start? Right, let's start with the metallic collection of the suede et. Now, I know you're a big fan of the suede et as well, aren't you? Yeah, I love it. It feels so, so nice. It's got lovely um, uh, sparkle flashes of light and colour going on. So. I've not seen... Have you seen yeah. this one before? Because I know we've got the sparkle one. Yes! But the one that isn't the sparkle. Yeah. That's just the... This it's actually just looks like complete... I actually, silver. I was, just quite, I was looking yeah. at that then because I thought it was actually leather. Yeah, and it's it's um, it's almost like a, a, a satin silver. That's it's a really great way of explaining really it. Really nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of the suede. Have I got that? No, eight, eight of the suede. So you've got the gold, silver, sparkle blue, sparkle pink. Then the metallic collection of the antique bronze, copper, and silver. And then you've got the, got the red as well. And then satin cords. Okay, so all of these, these are all the suede et. So we'll take a look at, um, at these first of all. So you're going to be getting, we've got a slight technical issue just so you know. But it's fine, it won't affect your buying. It just means that I won't be able to have a break till the end of time. <laughs> Gonna be a really attractive show today. Be like <coughs> gibbering wreck in the corner. Mm. It's all right. We'll have plenty of tea. It'll be fine. Um, okay. Should we take a look at these? Are we, are we good to go? There we go. There we go. So these are all your suede. Now, in the suede, you get five meters, but in the satin, you're going to get ten. Sorry, is it? And on the wax, you're going to get ten as well. Look at this. Oh eight hundred six trouble four six double five. One hundred and forty meters. We're going under thirty pounds. Now can I ask Deb for mm -hmm. this one for example, how much cord how what length of cord do you think you used? It's difficult this? to give you. A length. Let me see if I can find the um, <clears throat> what was left, and I can show you. It's hardly dented it, really. Um, Do you reckon probably about four will, meters, maybe? It might be a yeah, four or five meters, probably. Yeah, because um, there you go. That's what was oh, left. Oh wow! So this is going to be coming up in the next collection. But that's what, so yeah, probably about knowing these There's, like I do. Yeah, that's that's more or less a complete reel. So probably about five, thank you, Dom, about five metres to use. You're going to be getting 140. You're going to be getting <laughs> 140 metres in this collection. You could make this 28 <coughs> times over. Is that right? 28 times with the amount of threads that you would need. You can make it 28 times. That's amazing. Isn't it? 140 metres. And you could make this about 28 <laughs> times. And to create that piece in terms of the cord that you would need, if you get this bundle, it's going to cost you about 68 pence in thread. That is how low we are going to go. The best of luck, everybody, on 0800 644 giving you 140 metres. You're going to be getting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 of the suede. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 um, of the satin uh, in the deep red, the fuchsia, the orange, the butter, the peach and the butterscotch. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, not so 50 metres of the wax cord in the chocolate brown, the light blue, the beige, the brown and the navy there as well. So free phone number 0800 644 Thank you so much for joining us today. 140 metres if kumihimo, macraming or any type of braiding is your thing. This is an absolute 100 trillion and billion percent must have. Are you ready? It's on a first come first serve basis, £17 for 140 metres working out at 12 pence 
a meter. That's wow. 12 pence per meter. Good <coughs> luck. Congratulations, Leslie, Marina, Lynn, and Nikki, Sydney and Caroline, Alison and Lindsay, Sheila, Lynn, um, Marie, Paul, Anne and Josie and Janet and Zara and Jane and Christine and the rate the Marion and Coral and Anne and Rita and Daisy and Hilary and Grace and Jane and Susan and Nesta and Linda and another Jane. You're frying in now. The reason we can do such an incredibly low price is because we've got an absolute corker, stonkingly huge amount of that <laughs> on offer. And that is why you are effectively, you know when you bulk buy, you get a better deal. You as an audience mm. are, are collectively bulk buying from us. Free phone number 0800 644 We have any texts in yet, please, Kim? Yeah, we've got loads coming in. So let's have a look at the first one. Um, hi, Lucy and Deb. I love everything you... Hi, Pauline. Oh. I love everything you do, Deb. You're incredibly talented and would love a designer inspiration showing the fab bracelet, definitely. That one? Yeah, I would have thought so because that's the only bracelet we've shown so far. Apart from the... the oh, and this one as well. That's on the DVD, the birthday. This is the one on the birth... So this yep. is on the birthday DVD, this one here with the clay. Yep. But this one here, I could do that. On look here. at this, Julia Nottinghamshire. Wow, Deb, oh, amazing, thank you. isn't it? Isn't it? And what's really fab is that everything that Deb has used in today's show, we have really, really reduced in price to put it on fantastic offer. So seventeen pounds gets you the whole collection. This is the piece that's being referred to, and hmm. um, this is. I almost think of this as your flagship piece at the moment. This is um, and well, all of it though, to be honest. This is the work of Deb, and it's. A very very different look than any of our designers do which is just amazing so we're going to go over in just a moment and do our first kit with deb of which this piece has been made from so one two three four five six seven eight lots of the suede deck, five meters of each of the suede deck, and the gold the silver the baby blue that sparkle the pink sparkle the uh, metallic sparkles and the red sparkle and then one two three four five um so giving you 50 meters of the satin cords and 50 meters again of the wax cord for just 17 pounds again you've got your first day money back guarantee it is only one post and packaging price and the code on this offer today is xhgc42 now we can go over to deb because she hasn't got stuck under the table yet so it's appropriate not yet. to go over not yet not yet so, are you enjoying being a guest designer point. here, Deb? I love it. Yeah, I just play all day, every day. No, I'd love to be a guest designer it's amazing. on the show. I would absolutely love it. I wouldn't get anything that done, though, because I'd be like, oh, what are you doing that for? Oh, how much is that? Oh, I'm just <laughs> shopping the whole time. Okay. This, I have to warn you, is incredibly stunning. And incredibly limited in stock I do apologize we haven't got a huge amount of these available it will be on a first come first serve basis oh I've just seen the findings pack mm -hmm. and I've just looked at the chain the chains the like um beautiful. figaro chain yes. really nice link yeah where shall we begin let's mm -hmm. begin on this piece of jewelry here it is exquisitely exquisitely stunning they are premium gemstone strands of distinction in this kit of aquamarine 35 mm -hmm. carats of aquamarine now dotted along Kerry can we get even closer on this one please lovely thank you please note that this is a very different findings pack look at this chain it is beautiful now I have to warn you we've already got people calling in And look, look at the spaces. Can we look <clears throat> up at this one, please, Kerry? So look, you've got a different type of chain, a completely different spacer, which is like a little square where I've been used to the rounds. The aquamarine, we've got beautiful pyrite. This is extraordinary. This is extraordinary. Really, really beautiful. And then the most gorgeous little agate there. We have got, a, this is definitely, definitely, definitely going to sell out. Now these earrings are stunning again. So the chain, the aquamarine, the shepherd hooks, the jump rings. This bracelet, wow. 
So just very quickly, Deb, because obviously we've got yeah. so much to get through. What What's this technique here? Um, on there, that was, mm. it's like a Cavendoli type. The Cavendoli. Cavendoli. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, wow, okay. So you, wow. you do it in a V by bringing the outside edge cords into the centre. Okay. And the same left side and right side you repeat. Three right. rows of it and then beads and then three more rows of the Cavendoli wow. from okay, cool. sides into the centre. Let's have a look at the next pair of earrings. I'm very, very, very aware that this is going to be a sellout kit in the next couple of moments. Look at that. And then look at this piece. This is awe-inspiring, Deb. <gasps> I think oh. that's my favourite across all three kits. They, they've all got elements that I actually, that I absolutely loved. And I love the cord. The cord is so nice to work with. Well, let's have a look at the cord to begin with. Okay, so here are the cords. I'm just going to get... La, la, la. 70 meters so it's a 0.4 now this is going to be incredibly useful for a huge amount of beads including yeah. pearls because yeah. it's a 0.4 chances are you'll be able to get a 0.4 can't guarantee it. you might have to use your little um, bead reamer but certainly 70 meters of each on these okay then if we have a look at your uh, threading material should get 50 meters of bead and thread 60 meters clear elastic and 80 meters of monofilament the gemstones are beautiful they are <gasps> look at these it's 24.95 you're gonna have to be quick off the mark on this one because look we've got less than 20 it's a very inspiring look so you've got 80 carats of the dyed agate in the blue which is 36 centimeters strand 35 carats of the aquamarine um faceted rondelles two by one up to a six by four 30 centimeters strand and then 35 carats of the blue coated pyrite 12 by 1 up to 33 by 2 at 28 centimetres and this um, I mean it's in a beautiful look so we're going to crack straight mm. on with um, with looking at the demo but I do want to give you some examples of how this finding pack differs by showing you right here um, in fact I believe we might actually have an image of it already a moment ago oh, okay no we haven't we've got it here Oh look! <laughs> oh brilliant. look! Oh yeah. my word! Right, you you have to get this. I'm so sorry, folks. I'm so so sorry that we've got hardly any left. Um, I can't get One into of any the other of these kits bags. Has, um, had these findings in as well. Great. So if you so. miss out on this kit, we've got the findings coming up later. I love this chain. It's here. Let's have <clears> a look. So um, you can see that you've got different sh si shapes for the spaces. So you've got the little squares. Let me show you a close up again of the chain because this is beautiful. Really, really, really beautiful. Slightly different shepherd hooks than we used to as well. And then a slightly different um, toggle clasp. So I've got those for a close up for you here. Beautiful. It's sold out. This has actually sold out. And then look at the, let me just get these out for you. Just before we go on to the, um, the demo, we've got an amazing Eslon thread pack. You have to get this because if you love Deb's design, Eslon thread is the way to do this. this. Is, yeah, it's perfect. Look at these head pins. Oh, look, look. <laughs> I don't think I'd love anything as much as I love the little hearts. No, I, um, I prefer the this. I these prefer are, these. These are gorgeous. They are gorgeous. Yes, yeah, I love them. Oh, love yeah, it. yeah, 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 yeah. I think we've got a new favourite. I was really sad to see the flower one go. The yeah. one that's got the star flower ones. But this yeah, is stunning. Yeah, that was pretty. We're constantly but trying to give you different options, you see. I, what I love about these is they've got a sort of handmade... Yeah. Um, they look really got, ethnic as well and quite sort of got a charisma hippie, to hippie. I, I like hippie sort of things and, and little flowers are just gorgeous. But Stunning. those square spaces are, are fantastic they as are, well. But they're coming really up in another like kit them. as well. Yeah, yeah great, they are. Great, great, because yeah. that kit has now sold out. And we are about to show a demo for, for this in just a moment. But let me tell you, right, quick off the mark on this one. You're going to have to be really, really quick. Eslon threads. Eslon, why would people want Eslon thread? Oh, yeah. let me, um, it's oh. mega strong. Are you wanting oh. these colours? Oh, no. Um, I used hmm, these three here. It's over there yeah. in the birthday Can necklace. you get it? I'll nip over. Thanks. 
Um, I've got a collection with Cabochon coming up for you imminently. And actually, I know we are going to look at the technique from the kit, don't worry. But look at this. Thank you so much. So using... So the, the threads... These uh, that's ones. That's it, those four. Using that collection... And we've got a cabochon coming up later. This was what was featured on the birthday show. That coral and grey look spectacular together, they don't do. they? They do, they <gasps> do. Look, 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 the Eslon threads. Take a look, seven reels of it. 70 metres on each reel, 11.95. Uh, that'll last ages. Won't it just? And it, it works. It, the characteristic of the thread, when you're working with it, it's lovely because it's got the sort of... Um, feel of the satin cord the way they sort of glide into place yeah. but then it has the ability of the hemp cord to stick where you put it, it so you tie that your knot and it stays sense. whereas some cords can can be a bit slippy and spring out and uh -huh. sometimes leather does that if you're trying to do it with leather um, oh but no. these are absolutely amazing oh no oh oh no oh it's gone Oh, I'm so sorry. Right, we've got loads of opportunities for the offers like this um, through the show. But right now, we're going to do the demo. Get loads of questions coming in. Get your questions coming in. Come on, come on, come on. You can even ask her what she's had for a tea last night. Okay, so <laughs> straight over to okay. you. Okay. Um, so what I I did here is it's basic macrame knots, really. Um, it and really doesn't look it. <laughs> I know. That's what's so so brilliant about it. It's it's actually just tying knots in bits of string. Need <laughs> <laughs> the glamour. So so it, it's you, you break it down. That's what you need to do. You look at it and you think, oh no, where do I start with that? But you break it down into simple steps, and it's it's really quite straightforward. Um, now this piece wasn't made, um, I didn't attach all of the threads in there in one go, so I added bits in. Um, okay, so that makes it feel less intimidating. So there's a join here that's underneath those And that's where you use there. your beads then to hide the joins? Well you can't actually see the joins because you, you've, it's been attached with the knot. And it's so, not, so and you it's not, see so it. it blends in. Um, but you might be able to see it on the back. That's a great way of getting an idea. Can you right see to there? Um, I don't know if you can. Just here. Might catch it. There's a little knot. Oh, goodness. You can't really see it, can you? I, is it the one at the bottom um, of that collection? It's, you can feel it. It's here at the top, right at the base of my nail. OK, no, I absolutely, no. categorically, 100% did not see that. No. Wow. So the knots disappear. So how many pieces do you think have made that? Um, there's a join there and then this piece flows from here and it comes down and around and it joins here but then I've attached another section here and worked up. So it's got three, three pieces really just, in there. Just wow. So you can you build it up in stages it's wow. uh, it's easy if you look at it that way rather okay. than um any other right so to start what i did was um a piece of cord on my board i tend to use the the bigger one um when i'm working on on bigger pieces but with this because i it's worked in sections i tend to work on a small board um, so take a length of cord that's probably around 75 centimetres long, fold it in half and then um, put the loop underneath your cord that runs across your board and pull the ends through. So attach it this lark's head knot. So <clears throat> I've done that um, 11 times on this section and I've, um, <coughs> I've started knotting. Um, now when I started the necklace, see if you can see it, um, it starts 
just underneath these beads, that's that is the the top. Oh, um, okay. Can you see where all the, yeah, yeah, the yeah. cords have been attached? So that is then sort of that section, as it were. Yeah. So that that's um, again that disappears into the the piece when you're working. Now you've said it like that because I think I was looking at it from starting, starting here there. and having that shape coming down this bead at the top of my board. Yeah. But this is at the top of the board. That's at the top that of the board. That starts to make it easier, doesn't it? Because okay. there's no easier. law <laughs> to say that you can't turn your board round or turn your work there round. There is no law. There is no law. There are no rules. And if there is, break break, break that the rule. Law. <laughs> Not break the law. <laughs> no. Because that would be really bad. Deb is not telling you to go to prison. Not good. Fine. No. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. So I pin these are original pins from the nineteen seventies. Oh <laughs> back in the day. Yeah. From back in the womb. They are from the womb, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Uh, my mum's probably uh, just sitting there thinking, uh, what on earth? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Oh, I better um, talk. Can I just say as well, <clears throat> if you are sat at home and you've just tuned in and you're wanting to buy right now, we still have the threading pack available with the suede, the satin cord and the wax cords for you. So 140 metres for £17. Get it. Okay, right. That's so, more. yeah, <laughs> that's, that's good. Good value <laughs> for that. Right, so what we're going to do is make some... Um, lines knots coming down across the thread so have these all hanging loose don't attach them to your board <clears throat> and take the right hand thread and pull it across um, and then the second thread that's coming down you tie a double half hitch so that's once so you bring it round over your holding thread and then back through the loop and pull it. Now what you'll find is if you have to keep attention on this um, thread, your holding thread, holding cord, so that your knots lie flat otherwise they sort of ping up and come at ugly angles and you don't get a nice neat finish. Um, so that is basically the only knot that's used in this necklace. Um, so you do each cord working across your holding cord, each cord twice, and you reposition your pins as you work so it holds it nice and steady then. Now the way to get directional um, uh, lines is it's like driving a car really you have to point your cord where you want your line to go i think we're just going to angle it just to the can you camera. not see sorry Therefore, no don't you apologize it's camera that camera up there is just quite far away so there it's you go not, so there you go hang on i hold that right so pull it across and you do you're not you're once. actually working on this angle i did this on the um, birthday DVD, the overhead camera wasn't working, so <laughs> <laughs> the, the bracelet was demoed like this. I think because it is micro, it's the quite clue tricky. Is in the title. It's um, to see. Yeah, it's, we'll have to look at. This is going to be the messiest section <laughs> ever. Um, is there anything we can do to help you? That's that's fine actually. So if you pull your holding cord at a different angle. So say I wanted a really sharp um, change of direction. Let me just get those in the right order. Um, I would pull it down and then the line that you're creating of knots will follow your holding cord. Okay. Can you see how that's then yeah, changed yeah, direction? Yeah, yeah. So then what you do, you the can either 
you can either use the left hand chord and then go off at another direction yeah or you can come back and use the right hand chord and do a second row um, now let me pull those out of the way so whoops, oh, I'm so sorry that's that was right. my fault that was my fault <laughs> it's uh, so you, you pull it and hold your holding chord which is this one So the keep one in attention. your right hand, if you're working, if you're yeah, right-handed, or even if you're no. left-handed. Yeah. Oh, hang on, it's going no. The one that's going across front. the loose threads, the one that's going across from the edge that you're tying onto, is your holding cord. Yeah. And the threads that you're tying the knots with. Um, are then the knot in cord. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Oh gosh, I hope I'm not confusing everyone at home now. Okay, so you Key just... text coming in for Deb's folks. If you've got any, you've got any questions at all. Okay, you've got to be um, quite careful that you don't. Um, oh, I can see this is going off a bit now. Uh, that you don't um, mess up big time by tangling up your these these chords yeah. here because they all need to stay in order can I just say Deb was just demonstrating that back to front <laughs> and away from her so it's not how impressive was that and um, from Diane in Swansea Debbie your designs are wonderful would love for you to make a micro macrame DVD we can look into that and see what, yeah. what we can already do already on the case <laughs> already on the case thank you very much for thank uh, you. texting in Diane that's lovely Okay, so um, basically that's that's the way you continue. So I've I've got one there that I did. Um, took me about ten minutes to set it all up and and work across. But you can see how you, the directions changed. And um, one thing, um, if you haven't got the lines exactly um, running along next to each other, and you want them to to be a bit tighter you can once you've let me go back to this one that we did here you can you can um, actually f get them to work a little bit closer together um, by using I use my pliers quite often oh wow literally and by just pushing them in yep great so, okay um, you can use a, f a thumbnail That's and just work knowing. it See how that's moved them right, yeah. closer. And just while you're doing that, keep these cords here, keep them fairly taut, um, and that will move the knots down. Obviously, it, it won't move them down like a centimetre or uh -huh. an inch or anything, but it will just tighten them up. Right. Well, due to the nature of the show today, we have to move on to our next items. But I honestly am going to put forward the idea that this whole complete piece is a designer inspiration that'd show that'd be good yeah it would be fantastic even a whole complete dvd how to make this one piece of jewelry mm. i think that would be stunning yeah You'd be up for that just yeah. volunteer yeah. to do that i wouldn't even ask to. <laughs> you'll do that that'd be you, fine yeah. yeah 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 wouldn't I'll we love that. that wouldn't we love that because i hate i hate i hate i hate to rush anything because you're the reason that people are watching um, but the nature of the show and the setup of these morning yeah. shows we have to move on to lots of things because let me show this to you this is why we need to move on this is coming up <laughs> oh just when you think it can't get any more splendid it's amazing. Maybe we need to have a micro macrame weekend and you do both designer inspiration shows. <laughs> that would be That would be great, wouldn't that would, it? That would be wouldn't it? Yeah. When we just let's do that. Really good. Let's yeah. do that. Yeah. Um that. <laughs> right, so that's why Decision we need to move made. on because we've got lots more coming up. If you've got any ideas like that that you'd want, please let us know. Now, I do not remember the last time I presented Tiger Ebony Wood and I adore it. It's the most incredible, deep, rich colour, and yet it is so lightweight. Now, these are just fabulous spade shapes. Obviously, spades really as in good. pack of cards, not like, let's go and dig up the garden. 
UOKC95. Now they're measuring six by 11 millimeters, but look at the size hole. It's a four millimeter hole. Now this is what we're all after. I've been desperately requesting, I'm sorry, I've watched Ooh. my nail. Beads with larger holes. Mm. It just gives you so much more scope, doesn't it? Yeah. Especially with the cords. cords. Through. Yeah, the cords we've had today. You get the suede cord through there, would you not? Bit of a squeeze, yeah. maybe. Wiggle it through. Well, but you certainly get quite, your satin through. They're quite malleable, so you could possibly fold it in half width ways. And squidge it through. And squidge it through, yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry I've botched my nail. Right. <laughs> Big hole in the ebony wood, folks four millimetre hole. Now you're gonna get approximately 37 pieces on this strand. UOKC95. They're just gonna be fab, it's completely unique, different look, even on a piece of wax cord, a few pieces of wax cord layered up on one of those in the centre for like a choker style piece. It'd be really nice um, actually getting a square bezel and putting jewel enamel in or resin or something and having one of those set in like it's a cut playing card, wouldn't it? Do you be know really what? Cute. You are fabulous woman. <laughs> Isn't she fabulous? Thank you. Thank goodness for the 1970s inspiration. Yes. Yeah. Oh, 800, 644, That is a genius idea. That's really fab, cute. really fab. Free phone number 0800, 644, Tiger Ebony Wood, spade shapes, 16 by 11 millimeters, four millimeter hole, 895. And they have all been hand cut and polished. And they are really, really, really beautiful. The size of that hole is gonna make a huge difference to the materials that you can use alongside it. 0800 644 655 895. Do you continue to call in for those because right now, we are gonna head over to the Wall of Fame. <laughs> Fantastic Wall of Fame entries, really, really, really stunning. Got a couple that have been posted in, so that's what I do, I do wow. snail mail. Um, and the first one is 347. Now, every single one of you out there can send in a picture of the jewelry that you've made. You can send in one a week, and that runs from a Tuesday to a Tuesday, okay? So, what we'll do is for every single picture that's sent in, every single one gets allocated a number. We pick at random which ones are seen on screen, Every single entry, whether it's the most basic of technique or the most complex, has exactly the same chance. Now, all of those entries go into our Tom Bowler on a Wednesday. Two are drawn out. First one will receive £50 credit to their account, and the second one will become first prize and have £100 credit to their account. So the entries for today are number 347. This is from Suzanne on the Wirral. Hello, lovely. Hi, all. Hope everyone is well. And my entry for this week is made with the red quartz, faceted rondelles, and ovals. Just a simple design, but very pretty. Hoping for a win. Ha ha. Good luck to all on Wednesday's draw lots of love Suzanne Suzanne best of luck to you there lovely really beautiful beautiful design good luck mm. 347 348 this is stunning absolutely that gem stunning stone. hi all mm. at JM mm. oh it's from James from Greater London hello James um, hi all at JM I received um, the amazing double concave cut clear quartz and at first wasn't sure what to do I looked through my stash and saw my strand of morganite. I think they go really well together mm. and was very pleased with the outcome. I wish JM a happy birthday and all the JMers good luck in the draw. I hope you like my design. I love that. James, that is stunning. It's incredible. Those concave Just, cuts are breathtaking. Mm. To put that with morganite yeah. is the most sensical decision, isn't it? It's, it looks so amazingly it's high end. Hellishly expensive. Yeah. Doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> It, it really does. Yeah, yeah. very high end. Fabulous. Yeah. Good luck there, Han. And you are number 348. Four, this one's 349. Beautiful colours. And this is from Mary in East Sussex. Hello, Mary. This week's Wall of Fen uh, Fame entry is a distressed fuchsia wire Viking knit bracelet. I'm still new to the Viking knit and a bit rough, so it took a bit of the colour of the wire. Bit of a perfectionist, but I didn't want to waste my effort, so took sandpaper mm -hmm. to it and changed my mistake to a design feature. What yes. a cracking idea. But I think I prefer the pink, copper and silver distress look. So keep selling, um, 
selling out of the nylon, nylon pliers. Who needs them? <laughs> You've got me, she's poor. Mary needs mm. some sake. Well, you've had one. You're number 349. That is a great idea. I've done that with black wire and you get the copper flashes oh, coming wow, through. Yeah. It's really nice because it shows up your texture. Works great really well. idea. Really great um, idea. Good luck. These are pretty. 350 Useful. is from Patricia. No, it's not. It's from Lynn Edwards Hello, in Lynn. Cinderford. Hi everyone at JM. My entry this week is a combination of amethyst and fluorite and findings from JM and an agate pendant from my stash. Bright and cheerful, it matches my mood. Good luck to all entrants this week, but I could do with the wind to boost my stock. Ah, it's a new word for it. Stock. Keep stock. Up. Instead stash. of stash. Stock. Stock <laughs> makes me think of chicken. It sound, it, chicken? Oh, my mum chicken always makes stock. a chicken stock. <laughs> Keep up the bargains and inspiration, that. Lynn Ed Edwards. It's lovely. Lynn, that's a lovely entry, hand number three five zero. Crack and colours. That yep. for me is a very lovely. JM piece of jewellery because they're yeah. the one. Those are the gemstones that we really sort of made a name for ourselves with gemstones back in the day. Early, I think. yeah, yeah, really lovely, really yeah. lovely. And then this is lovely, gorgeous designs. Um, three, Ooh. five, one, stunning. Hi, JM. I really enjoyed the birthday program. Lots of bargains. And here's my entry to the Wall of Fame for this week. I hope you like it. It was inspired by Sheila. I love her designs. First attempt at combs. I'm totally addicted to doing them now. So much so that my granddaughter is my model. Uh, oh. Use antique bronze wire and pink colour quartz, all from JM. And keep up the good work. That's from Jackie in Irvine. Jackie gorgeous mm. there number three five one sheila will be very very proud indeed right we're going to go to a short break we've got cups of tea at the ready rare, ready and raring to go but coming up for you later on today we have got the most outstanding sapphires now when we think about deb's designs today that really do lend themselves to the intricacy beautiful beautiful femininity delicate quality and they are of course real sapphires but coming up after the break, we have got a bundle to make you run to the phone, go for it, go for it, go for it. It's gonna be a little bit more of a considered purchase, but the value for money will be absolutely amazing. But if you're just starting out, you need a toolkit and you certainly know to know how to buy it. And here is how to get both. <laughs> the fastest way to shop with Jewelry Maker is by going to our website. Just click on the sign up button. Once you've filled in the required details, you can start shopping. You can watch the show by clicking the Watch Live button on the front page. You can also use our Refine tool and narrow down your search. Once you've found an item that you like, just simply click on the Buy Now button and the item will be added to your basket. Don't forget you can add as many items to your basket per day and still only pay one p and Enjoy shopping with Jewelry Maker. If for any reason you're not satisfied, you have the benefit of our no quibble 30 day money back guarantee. Just complete the returns form enclosed with your goods and send them back for a full refund. We all know having the right tools for the job is important, so we here at Jewelry Maker have designed a toolkit which includes all your essential pliers for jewelry making, including round nose and flat nose pliers, wire cutters, as well as a bead reamer, snips, and tweezers. You've got everything you need for just $9.95. We provide the tools, you provide the skills. Get creative with the Jewelry Maker. When you place your first order with us, you will receive a free booklet and DVD full of handy hints, tips and tutorials to help you get started with your new Jewelry Maker hobby. If you have a question or query for Jewelry Maker, then you can contact our call centre on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Or alternatively, you can email help at jewelrymaker.com. When shopping with Jewelry Maker, you can add as many items to your order in one day and only pay one postage and packaging charge. We have two delivery options. Standard delivery at just £2.95 and you'll receive your parcel within four to six days. Or opt for our premium delivery at just £4.95 and you'll receive your parcel within three to four days. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Stay tuned because look what is coming up later in the show. 
really really inspiring jewelry and a brand new findings pack for this one so certainly i don't know if it's been launched over the last couple of days but i've never seen it before i've never seen the findings pack that's been used with this before that is oh, right can i make a request can i have this piece of jewelry for my mum can i buy it for charity because i know we donate a lot of our pieces to charity after they've been photographed and used but when we are ready to put that in the archive can I buy it instead and I'll donate the money to um, a charity as long as it's okay with the powers that be because that is just so 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 beautiful and it will go really nicely with the dress she's wearing to um, my godmother's son's wedding who I call my godbrother because she is my godmother and he is her son and therefore is like godson <laughs> There's my life story again. Ooh, there I go again. Right. Oh my word, this is whopper, 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 corker, corker, corker. Oh, gorgeous. This is over a hundred pounds worth, this bundle. Over a hundred pounds. In fact, over a hundred and seven pounds worth. Are you ready for this? Boom. So you have got, oh my word, I can't read them out in order, but you will be having uh, Purple quartz labradorite, rose quartz red agate, green, green fluorite, rainbow obsidian, Australian opal, black rutilated quartz. Oh, look at this. Um, black rutilated quartz, obsidian, prehnite, light blue quartz, tiger's eye, serpentine, black agate, uh, and white quartz, yellow quartz, green aventurine, multicolored agate, tiger's eye, black agate nuggets, bayong wood teardro uh, teardrops, um, printed shell, South Sea. <laughs> South Sea Shell Pearls, uh, Pink Shells, uh, Pink Shell Half Moons, Red Coral, all of this. It's a 25 strand collection. Now, if we were to do these at their full prices, my word. Even if you just look at these rose quartz. Look, 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 look. Rose quartz that are top drilled. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. A stunning strand of coral. Even just those two together. Beautiful. And if I stay within the pink, look at the purple of the quartz and the pink of the shell. See, that's a bundle by itself, isn't it? Okay, let's put that down here. So that's one bundle. Then tiger's eye, I've got these ones. I'd probably put it with those tiger's eye and the bayong wood. And maybe even bring in the agate. Yeah, look at that. Look, 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 look. Amazing. Then, uh, oh gosh, where to go to next? The black and the white rutilated quartz. Black and white agate. The rainbow obsidian. The most amazing, huge black agate. Look at this. Look, look, look. <laughs> They're huge, aren't they? Look at that. Monochrome feel. Three bundles so far. I'd actually put that as a separate one. Look at that. Oh, uh, sorry. Can you imagine that with a turquoise Athlon thread? Ooh. Aren't they mega? Uh, I've not seen those before. They're amazing, aren't mm. they? Well, they're about to sell out in this collection. <laughs> <coughs> um, then if we go for the more muted tones, so the opal. Even to go with these agates in there, actually. Labradorite. Shell. A bit more of the neutral tones. Then pre nights. Fluorite. Aventurine. Another bundle there. Then the orange shell. And then the agate. And then the quartz. And then I'd probably put that blue quartz somewhere in between there as well. Right. What a shame we haven't got an overhead camera here. How to pick all of this up. How to do this. Is there any chance that we can get camera one lowered down? What do you think, Claire? What do you think is the best way for me to show this? You think I need to put them on my arm? This is going to be interesting. Ooh, come up with an idea. You've come up with an idea? Yeah. Drape them all over the macrame board. Deb, <laughs> how you what? You're an absolute genius woman. She's just... You can attach the... Oh, 
possibly. Don't even know if I'm going to have time to. I might, I might need you to <laughs> help me. Because they wouldn't actually fit on the bar without overlapping. Because there's so many of them. If I hold those for the bit. Oh, look at those. Ooh. You're going to get all <clears> of them. <throat> this should be over 107 pounds. 107 and 25 pence. It's getting heavy. It is getting heavy. <laughs> it's a good job your post and packaging isn't done on weight. <clears throat> I don't think they're all going to fit on. They're not going to fit on. I love it. We're going to have to squidge them up, Deb. Yeah. Shuffle along. Move along the bus. Come along. Come along, beads. There we go. <laughs> it's making the board bend. Right. Oh, they're a nice shape. Aren't they? And the Bayon Wood and the Agate. The faceted tigers. Oh, I love they're those. Gorgeous. They're beautiful, aren't they? Ah! ah! Spillage! <laughs> is this cracking TV? <laughs> oh, this is like, this is seriously making me salivate. Oh, no! Oh, he's a I slippery customer. Yet. They're like little smiles. <laughs> aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> Coral oh. and the rose quartz and the one I've dropped. All right, all right. Oh, <laughs> you see, you know when you see pictures of when Paula on Facebook and Paula's gone to India and you're just like, I want to dive in oh. there, I want to do that. Well, look, you can have this wow. in your room where you, if you've got a beadery or wherever. Oh, this is gonna be too good an opportunity. This is. A shop opportunity, isn't it? Shop a stash of opportunity. That was it, yes. <laughs> Laura Binding is currently running a workshop and she's still at the window going, I had this, I had this. I just want to. You want to. Oh, gorge on the gems. L O G C47. You could just. Couldn't you? <laughs> Couldn't you? 0800 644 655 75 pounds for the lot and they're all genuine gemstones that's works out three pounds a strand of real that's gemstones amazing. it is phenomenal 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 <laughs> can we put this down now um, do you know, Deb <laughs> I will take this for you Thank you it's very really much heavy. for your help. It really is really heavy. heavy. Look at the amount. <gasps> the sheen they are. Oh. Falling all over the place. Left, right and centre. Can't actually <laughs> hold this up by myself and it's grab really that. It's really heavy. Amelia, please could you come and grab this strand for me? It's all right, Deb's on the case. Amelia, you're out of a job. I haven't done any of a challenge yet. I haven't done any of a challenge. Oh, now my earpiece is falling out and gone. Oh, no. I'm trying to multitask. I can't hear my director. <laughs> this is definitely going to sell out. Isn't that a wow? My director's just said you can put Amazing. them down now. I don't know if I can. I don't physically know how to do this. I'm a bit stuck. Wow, wow, that was sensational, wasn't it? I tell you what, that Lovely. is an absolute whopper in terms of weight. Yeah. It was, yeah, the weight yeah. of that was a, really? Yeah. Carry on, I'm going to pass mate. this over to you if I may, darling. Don't worry, she's like, don't tell me, I'm telling you. I can read what she's going through her head. Am I right? <laughs> For the birthday show, she was asked to open the door for the entrance and she would be seen with Cassie and you should have seen her face. It's like she was mortified. I, I cannot believe my laugh, my life. But yeah, but by the end of it, she was all over it, all over it. Right, <laughs> have a look at this once again. This is coming up for you very shortly indeed. Keep your questions coming in and your comments for Deb. You can text into 60777. Of course, you can also go onto our website and there's an area you can send in web comments and they come live through to the studio. 
So the work that we're focusing in on today and the elements, so obviously we've got lots of different elements into the sh in the show today, but a real focal point is the essence of macrame, but really taking it to micro macrame. So micro macrame, am I right in thinking that the difference between macrame and micro macrame literally is on the scale that we're working on yeah. with the materials that we're using. Yep. So we're using finer threads and delicate, but exactly the same techniques can be applied to whatever size beads or whatever size threads. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. so this is a really sensical purchase if you've been I mean an RA. Now I have got people who've bought more than one of these. In fact, we've got somebody who's bought four, which suggests maybe you run workshops. 140 meters. Now, how many of you are also thinking it's a wet weekend? What am I gonna do with the kids this weekend? Well, my little boy is only 17 months old, so we're quite restricted in what we can do. However, we're having a craft weekend. Um, but when he's so excited i've got an oil cloth down on the floor in the uh, in the kitchen and we've just got the whole it's just going to be yep. let's craft and i cannot awesome. wait for the day that i can do macrame with him so for children as well this is really 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 cost effective because it can be really pricey to entertain children can't it half an hour's little craft workshop the other day seven pounds 90 for half an hour's craft workshop i could go and get Oh my goodness, spend £7.90 on things yeah. here and keep them occupied for weeks. So, XHGC42, obviously on a very different level, we've got very classy, classy, classy colours here as well. And I do think the suede would really lend itself to the work of Debbie Bulford when she does her very long pendants for the summer that she's very known for. There's a lot of threads here that really lend themselves to being worked alongside the sari silks and of course the threads as well. Uh, free phone number 0800 644 655. 0800 six trouble four six double five x h g c four two so a hundred and forty meters it should be 31 pounds 70 if you to buy it all individually off the website 31 pounds 70 but using the code x h g c four two 17 pounds it's a no-brainer and at 31 pounds so our usual price at 31.70 is extraordinarily competitive competitive anyway teeth in lucy extraordinarily competitive to get it for 17 pounds is ludicrous take advantage on 0800 655 the code is xhgc42 140 meters it's absolutely stunning so you've got a collection of suede then you've got your satin uh, sorry, it's satin at the bottom there. Uh, another overlap of the uh, suede with the wax cord. Please do continue to call in, folks, on 0800 644 655 to place your orders and text in 60777 or send a web comment if you've got any questions or comments for Deb or indeed for any of us. Do you want to make a comment? You'd like to ask Deb a question, Claire? And, oh, no, Claire, Director Claire, would like to answer a question as well. If you've got a question for Director Claire, I'd like to know how she's made her suntan from her holiday the other week last so well. <laughs> and it is real. She promises she's not topped it up with anything out of a bottle, unlike just moisturiser. Just use moisturiser. Right, I'm very aware we need to get you your board back, don't we, Deb? Because you can't we actually do. continue. Well, I'm... So we'll do that. Yes. She's so polite. And I've... This isn't the challenge kit, but you Amelia's need... disappeared, so we need okay. to swap that. Amelia, where are you, my little lady Amelia? Yeah. Oh, she'll be. She's ever so good, though. She's. She'll be doing <laughs> something be useful. She'll, she'll be, be printing out walls of fame if she's not here, probably. Uh, right. Okay. So, not a bead. Not a bead. It is a oh. bead. I'm not saying that it's not. It is a bead. Not, not a bead, not. This is a fabulous tool. Now I know full well that Sheila is now slightly obsessed with using this. She's really thrilled to bits with hers. And we've got various different knotting tools here at Jewel Maker. And I think a lot of it is find out which one works best for you. This for me is perfect if you've got somewhere that you have got a surface that you can work on. So not necessarily, mind you, you can do it on your knee as well. We've actually got a YouTube, a little clip to show you how to use this. Just bear with us a second.
So, and while we're just waiting to find the uh, the video footage, um, oh, in fact, you need to go onto YouTube to see it. Okay, so it's N O B N one eight, and your instructions are all along the back here. N O B N one eight. So basically, have you used this before? Not that particular one, no. It's fantastic because basically what it means is you can get, particularly with your Eslon threads, but you can also use um, with your satin cords, you can use it with any cords to be honest, you can use absolutely mm. any cord. It's going to get a knot completely close to the bead. You're going to get your knot exactly where you want it to be. So if you are wanting a very different look, because typically we use beading threads to strand our thread, uh, beads on, but you can now thread onto threads, bead onto threads, and not in between. So if ever to, that was, you were to snag it, you wouldn't lose all your bees, but also it gives a very, very, very different look. Now, if you go onto YouTube and you just put in beadalon, not a bead, we're actually getting it, um, oh, aren't you very good and technical, Claire? Claire is going to show you the clip off YouTube. Oh. Which will mean you will see how you can use it and it will make a lot more sense. So this is if you have a surface, whereas we've got the other knotting tools where perhaps you do it on your lap or just when you're out yeah. and about. But if you've got a set area, this is the perfect tool. We've got a clip from it here, okay? Let's do it. So, you can see you've got the exact tool and it, it doesn't want to play, does it not? Come on! Oh, here we go, here we go. So you take your thread, you loop it over. The, it has got audio explaining how to do it. Now you do a very loose knot, okay? Then you pull your thread and it makes the knot tight close to the bead and you just pull it along and it just comes off. Work ready, you'll just see it pop off there. There. So it is absolutely perfect if you are wanting, this is the beading um, knotting tool if you are in an area with a surface to work on whereas our other tools are more for on the go or if you're wanting to knot it here but if you can have a surface this is the most perfect tool and it's probably for me I found it the easiest to use should we bring the price in it's just great for those of you who are wanting, particularly if you're wanting to do pearl knots, if you want to do bead knot, bead knot, bead knot, bead knot, get that really lovely fluidity, get some lovely articulation in your jewellery by just literally using beads and thread, um, like a nylon thread, you can use your wax, you can use your satin, you can use your eslon, you can use absolutely everything. 0800 655 are you ready? 17.95, this will, I'm, I'm going to say a bold statement here, I think it will change your life. If you're a jewellery maker who's wanting to do knots in beads, obviously. But, yes. um, <laughs> Deb, what do you think? I think that's really good, actually. And what I think about that one is that it gives you... It's like having an extra hand. Because when you're trying to hold everything with just two hands, you start biting at bits of cord and string, thread, and whatever. Like and, and... Yeah. And that because it can just sit there and it's like it's supporting what you're doing so um, I think that that looks like a really sensible piece of kit it absolutely is and Marie if um, you've text in there Lucy can you use this for pearl absolutely absolutely and the knotting technique actually all came about first of all with wanting to create the look of pearls and a lot of people call it pearl knots as well when you've got the bead and knot bead knot bead knot so absolutely you can use any thread the only thing I would say is that and you can actually use wire as well um, the, th the much finer gauges so you 0.25 I've used wire in when I did this um, I did it on air actually a few weeks ago um, you can use monofilament you can use beading thread in it and in terms of the gemstones you want to use as long as the gem the thread goes through the gemstone use it absolutely yes you can so there is no limit the only thing it starts to get a little bit tricky with is the suede 
it gets tricky. It's not impossible, but it's a lot trickier because the, the space that you've got for it to slide out is quite narrow for the suedette. So I would say the suedette and the leather, the two mil leather, you're going to find a little bit trickier. It's not impossible, but it is a bit trickier. But all these nylon cords or your satin cords, your airslon, the monofilament, even the elastic as well, actually, you can knot your elastic as well. 17.95 NOB N18 and actually for elastic it'll be great because I actually I struggle with knots and elastic yeah. to get them really tight yes I do because you pull it and it just keeps stretching yeah. and stretching yeah so, um, it, sort of so takes it's the control for you yeah it? It, it makes it difficult to actually then judge where your knot's gonna fall because it it just moves, moves <laughs> along yeah. the elastic. Yeah. But not with this. Oh no, no more. You need this here. Right, shall we? Before we move, I want. Oh no, you've already seen. I'll take it over here. I am so sorry we haven't got thousands of this kit. I would love to have thousands of this kit because it is going to fly. Now, this is the kit that features the piece of jewellery that I've been giving you a heads up on, but it's not the only piece by any stretch of the imagination. And it is an extraordinary piece of jewellery. Again, you've got our new findings collection. Deb has got a head, it's not just graphics, don't worry. It was literally your body and was then it? graphics, yeah. <laughs> this is, ex it's, oh, look, just look at it. From the kit you are about to buy, you absolutely can make this piece of jewellery. All the ingredients you require are here. The beautiful, delicate little flowers of the seed beads, they're absolutely exquisite. They're two millimetre little red agates in there. The thread is just beautiful. Little gold, um, sorry, antique bronze spacers. The delicate little nature of these dotted around and then you've also got uh, just bear with me a second bear with me where with me six by four on the large green eye where are do you know what these lists ah I'm looking for the other little green strand I'm looking for the sizes it looks like a two mil it's obviously yeah. a little quartz yeah, the little green ones yeah. was, um, were tiny, smaller than the, um, the red, orange ag agate. Yeah, red agate. got it. Mm. They're all here. They're all here. Two got by two, yeah. Okay. The gems and they came in two by two, <laughs> hurrah, hurrah. There were loads the of them. They came in two by two, hurrah, hurrah. <laughs> Can I just say as well, hello, how perfect is this kit for Sutash? Mm. This really gives it a soutache element at the same time. <gasps> Look at these. Now here are your <laughs> gemstones. This kit is flying out already. The first piece of jewellery we've been showing to you is here. It is just out of this world, breathtakingly beautiful and delicate. Now, we're going to be really honest and Deb had, obviously, she spent days on these kits. There's two strands here that weren't touched. These two strands, you could literally pop a clasp on. These were not touched. They have not been used at all. They also get these. The gorgeous little earrings. Now you can see these uh, different findings coming into play and being used in an ingenious manner. That's genius. So you've used the ribbon cord ends, but yes. then attached a head pin. Yeah, the head pin goes up through um, the ribbon cord ribbon end. cord end so it's held in place and just fold the bottom of the head pin up at the bottom that's amazing and wrap the rest of the head pin round at the top they're amazing look at these here how beautiful are these and that is a macrame technique and they're using the eslon thread you're going to get two lots of the eslon as well how are we doing on stock levels kim okay we've got less than 40 left now <gasps> beautiful and then look at this piece look at this you see the colours of this kit, completely different again. What a stunning mm. feel this has. A really lovely... Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, a woman who uses the same language <laughs> as I do. Just a bit of... Mm. 
And am I right in thinking that this is the Cavendoli? Yes. Cool. <laughs> and then if you have a look around at the back, this absolutely gorgeous toggle clasp, mm. the chain, the S clasps. Now you're gonna get everything. There you go. Um, you've got your uh, head pins. You've got the little flowers on the head pins. You've got the big ball head pins. The thinner, the featherweight head pins in there. The S clasp with the extender chain and the um, ribbon cord ends. You've got the little square spacers as well. You've got the crimpy crimpy covers. You've got the jump rings. You've got three pairs of shepherd hooks. You've got a meter of that chain. It is exquisite, really exquisite. Then you've got all of your threading materials, 50 meters of beading thread, six meters clear elastic and 80 meters of monofilament. The two colors of the Eslon are beautiful. Really, really, really beautiful. And giving a very, very different look when, when used together, actually, because mm. this looks all very soft. Yeah, yeah. It's um, it is. It's very soft. It's quite a feminine mm. look to it, even though it's a green and a brown. Mm. Um, and I I thought it was really delicate. It's it's like a minty green. Yeah. That green and yeah. uh, it's it's lovely. It does work with the the rust colour really well. So. Have a look at this piece of jewellery again, because for me, as much as they're all beautiful, this, this is the flagship piece for this kit. Oh, you're going to get the most amazing price on it, but please, please, please be quick off the mark on this one. 0800 644 655 should be 38 pounds and 55 pence it's on a first come first basis for now for the final few at 24.95 we've now got how many left sorry kim 25 of these left so here is one of your new head pins and that's a head pin that's been in question um that's been used for those earrings there that deb have put up through the uh, ribbon cord end beautiful and um, the little square spaces A little heart, brushed heart toggle, 114 findings and a meter of chain. Really, really stunning. Get your text, uh, text coming in for questions for Deb. Deb, what technique are you going to show to us? Um, on the one with the beads at the end. <laughs> that one. <laughs> yep. They just make that noise. So, um, I was going to show the zigzag down the side. Great. Yeah. Um, how easy is that in terms of, well, we're going to see how easy it is, but how great will that also be to help spread out your beads? Because obviously mm. that technique, you can just keep going the yeah. whole length and do a whole necklace like that, whole brace like that. So that's gonna actually going to be an incredibly cost effective design, isn't yes. it? Yes, yeah. Um, and what's quite nice is that you can um, graduate your, your beads if you've got different colours. You mm. could graduate them down like in a rainbow Do you know all the way through. Well? You could graduate them in size with the sapphires. That'd be nice. Because you've got graduated rondelles coming up with the sapphires at 12 o'clock. Oh, yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, so the seed beads in, in the kit, um, the drill holes are so fine that I couldn't actually get the cords through. Okay. So I used monofilament in this piece mm -hmm. to do. The, um, the the swirls and things in the uh, lovely. In, well, in the you get it in the kit, and it so works. It's not a no, it's not a problem, and it works really nicely. And you just hide it in with Can the Can I weaving. show the back of this, please? Yes. Yeah. You see, that's lovely, it's like that. <laughs> <laughs> that's so impressive. Oh, that section there. Yeah. Um, was actually done on the bead loom. So Ooh, right, well we've got the bead loom coming up. We'll have a demo yeah. from that in a moment. Is so, that okay? Yeah, yeah. Great. I can do that. I'm so, saying is that okay. We had right. discussed it before the show. I did think <laughs> we might be doing it. We've now confirmed we're doing it. So um I've set up in exactly the same way as we did for the, the previous kit. Um and we've got I think I used um ten five five cords that were about a meter long mm -hmm. um, folded in half and just attached them onto another um, cord going across the board mm -hmm. so if you can see that right then taking the are they green quartz dyed quartz yes yeah 
Um, these fit onto the cords really easily. Fab. So these are a six by four. You get a strand of these as well. We've almost sold out of this kit, folks. Oh, I didn't do that, did I? So once once I attached all my cords, I undid one side. Uh huh. And it was a lot longer than this piece, but for for the demo, it's fine. Um, just pop a bead on. If you find the end phrase on your um, on your cord, and I, I actually found they didn't fray very much at all. It, it held its shape quite well, which was brilliant, but you can put a bit of clear nail varnish on and then um, you can trim it off at a point if you need to. Okay. Um, so what I did, let me see if I can do it like that. Is that good for a camera angle? <laughs> So yeah, do it Claire, like that. Yeah? Says, yes. Can yes. I help you in any way? Um, no, it'd be all right if I do it sure. like that. Yeah, it's fine. So, again, in exactly the same way as we did previously, bring that one across with your bead on and tie two half hitches. So, really, this is exactly the same technique as the previous one, um, but we're just doing single rows of knots rather than um, multiples very closely together so it gives a different effect and we're spacing them out so I haven't put as many um, threads on this for the demo as I used in the necklace but you could make it really wide um, if you wanted to. If you did it like um, a couple of inches wide, then uh, that would that would um, curl as well. It, it would sort of, you could twist it mm. and get a totally different look with it, oh, wow. which is quite nice. It can get quite overwhelming with the different variations you can yeah. do. It's exciting, isn't it? It is. You can get quite close, um, almost pieces that look like fabric mm. when you work it really tight but then um, you do it a lot looser and it can look like lace or um, mm. sort of a netting or something so I had um, had a, a kit for Christmas one year my mum and dad used to buy me all sorts of different kits yeah, at Christmas too. did mm. you yeah, yeah. I, I had remember my knitting rug wish. making yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> that was a good one yeah I remember my knitting machine. Oh, that you had to wow. Go, vroom, yeah. Vroom, 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 with. Yeah. Cool. But it's whatever I had, you could guarantee my dad was in there first yeah. at Christmas. If it was gadgety, yeah. he'd just have to make sure it worked and set it up okay. <laughs> if it was any of my tools, he'd check. Just yeah. make sure they were fine. You see? But then I remember getting candle, candle making. making. Yeah, yes. but my mum and dad got me a kit and all you needed was an old pan. And I couldn't use it for about six months because my mum didn't want to forsake any of the pans. She didn't think that one through. <laughs> candle making was Candle great. making was brilliant, yeah. yeah had all sorts of, sorts of moulds in and stuff. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Right, pop another bead on. And then, using exactly the same cord as we used to come across mm. this way, we go back across the other way. So you just need to make sure so, that that cord's quite long. Yeah. Yeah, that was... Um, Gorgeous. It was a good metre, I think, um, okay, because fab. I want it longer. Um, than I, I'd probably need. I've got less than 10 of this kit left now. So literally, you just carry on in exactly Bring the same back way. And go back the other way. Fab. Yep. Thank you so much for that demo. We're actually going to there use and abuse your fabulousness now. Okay. With the bead loom, if we may. <laughs> yep. That's okay, fine. now the bead loom is something perhaps you touched on as a child as well, because it is a, a, an instrument, uh, a tool that's been around for a long, long time. However, mm -hmm. This has been by far um, the most in-demand one in the market, hence why we are now stocking it. And do you get the DVD as well? Are we doing that separately? We're going to do the, se the DVD separately, okay. Now, we've got some examples of some bead looming jewellery to show to you. So take a look at this. It is coming. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so... Bead looming. What is a bead loom then, Deb? Um, it's a frame, essentially, that 
you um, string up with some some threads and then you attach um, you basically then sew beads onto the threads now you're seeing an example there but also just to say the reason we're getting Deb's demo it today is because if you look at the back of this this has been created part of this using the same ingredients but using the bead loom to create this portion of the design here okay so all of this piece here this beautifully woven piece was created with the bead loom so as much as it's got the word bead in the title yeah you don't actually have to use beads no it's okay, um, so what, what, are you, what are you doing what are you doing what what am i doing i'm winding it the wrong way um no I, this what I, I wasn't like <laughs> what are you doing i know it's like, i'm actually asking you what you are doing um right this this bead loom is totally different to the one that i first used okay um in that mine was a couple of rollers on a wire frame and um so it's it, fair to say that this it's is it's moved on quite a lot yeah <laughs> from the yeah. days of the womb yes <laughs> if you joined us at the start of the show that will make sense and if you didn't basically we talked about debbie making macrame, macrame in, my, yeah. in, in the womb she started before being born let's move on I before wish. i dig a hole <laughs> okay so you're so moving it I'm up just at moving the moment, this, aren't you? yeah so the whole piece itself can i just say i think the price of this is ludicrously low uh, because once you've got it you've got it for life haven't you you've yeah got your it's forever. um it's really well made and it it's a nice size and weight <coughs> it's Excuse sturdy me. without it's being heavy yep. isn't it it's yep. sturdy is the key for this it it's um it feels nice and you can tell that it's been nicely made because it's not got splinters and because that's what i was worried about and there's a splinter to be got i'll get it so um i was thinking oh no it's going to be rough it's going to be a bit shoddy but it's really nicely finished it's really lovely and just at the moment the own the lowest price that we can find online is 37 pounds 30. And Kim has literally just gone onto a search engine on the internet. You can have a look. Have a look at this exact, exact uh, make. So it's the Rick's Beading Loom. £37.30 is the lowest price. We've found it elsewhere at the moment. Look at your price here at Jewel Maker. £29.95. Lowest price anywhere else that we've found on the web. Live this morning is £37.30. Obviously, you can let us know if you find it lower anywhere else. At £29.95, we truly want to be the most competitive. Look at that. So, here okay. we go. Um, we're starting to so set up. Now, you get all of this, don't you? There's nothing yeah. else that you need to buy. There's nothing that you need to buy to go in it. You've um, got everything. The only other thing that you're, you're going to need, if you're going to do... Um, beading on here is uh, is needle so a pack of fine just fine, fine needles. needles have a look on the website we do, we do them on the website or you yeah. might even just have them at home the, they need to be able to go through if you're going to attach beads in the traditional way to use a loom um, they need to go through your beads twice okay. at least um, so so you're putting on these fine. little rods at the moment with the little clear stoppers Oops. on the ends as well. So if you just have a look at this one here, I mean you get you get full instructions and you are we do also have a bead looming DVD that it's, it's only 4.95 which we'll put on screen in just a moment. So Deb's just getting that set up. Now you can nice. see that uh, you've got your stoppers going on the ends. Okay. You just tighten that up. So it's it's brilliant because this this moves up and down. So it means that you can decide how long you want your piece of work to be. So if you're doing a bracelet or a necklace or just a, a pendant section, you could, could move this all the way up. So okay. um, that's, that's fantastic that it does that. Um, let me use some Eslon thread. Do you know what, we've got a clip of the DVD available for you here as well. Which, if you're buying this and it's the first time you're using one, we really would recommend uh, the DVD. It's just 4 95 You are taught exactly how to set it up and how to get started with various projects on there as well. The code is AZTY1. 
one four. It's a free phone number 0800 644655. So it does take you through all the comprehensive essentials. But Deb is just setting this up for us here so we can get an idea of how she was able to create that portion of that necklace. So 495, introduction to bead looming. Uh, you've got to use your Visa and your MasterCard as well at two ninety five post and packaging. This is a you know a sizable piece to get yeah. delivered for two ninety five and everything yeah. else that you might buy as well. It is, um, and anywhere else you'd be paying that, and then a bit more and a bit more for this, that, and the mm. other, and it, lots it's of you nice. are getting the bead loom, folks. Lots of you. The this sort of amazing thing about this one is that when you've finished your piece you haven't got loads of ends because on mine um, it had sort of springs on either end and you, you had hundreds and hundreds of threads mm -hmm. coming up and, and down that you and needed to then finish. there's definitely been trouble shots to create this hasn't yeah. it, the original bead loom. Yeah, it's excellent. Right, so I'll just do a few. On the neck necklace when I was using the, uh, the S long cord and, and weaving that section um, I actually use monofilament to to do this sort of. Um, I can never remember which way it is. Are these warp or weft. I should be able to remember. Isn't that warp and weft is left? I yeah, that that that's exactly how I remember it, Claire. Weft is like left. Left. Okay. So left, left to right, right is that way, and warp is that way. That's it's the like way vertical I'm and horizontal. I always get that wrong. H horizontal horizon. You look out to the horizon. Oh, aren't you clever? Doesn't I've never do thought that. of that. That's <laughs> horizontal because it's like the horizon. Oh. <laughs> You're right, darling. Can... Honestly, I don't know. <laughs> Never I've got really lots of those little ones. Have you? Yeah. Yeah, I can't think Thank of any of no. them right now, that's why I went <laughs> quiet. Um, here we go. Sue in London, thirty-five pounds and forty-five pence and three forty-nine P and P was the best value I could find for the Rick's beading loom on the line. Double whammy, I reckon. Lower on price, lower on P and P. Sue, I look really manic looking down the camera like that. Then, then, sorry. Uh, Sue, thank you for that, hun. Thank you. Our bead loom here, twenty-nine ninety-five. The exact same one that Sue's just found for thirty-five pounds or something. There you go. So, okay, so, so we've stacked the threads up. Um, so this is exactly the same way as you'd set it up if you were going to um, attach beads and then you put all your beads onto your thread you'd put your thread underneath with all your beads on push them up and then you come back the other way over the top of the threads but through your beads and you effectively sew. They're, they're sandwiched these threads mm -hmm. um, to do the the woven section and so that technique you <coughs> will learn on the bead looming DVD. I just used it like a weaving frame to support my threads. So up and down, up and down. It's just like um, one of those sort of projects that you do at school. Um, and the first row was a bit scrappy, but then it, it sorts itself out. So just up and down, up and down, up and down, and it makes a really lovely weave. Um, just be aware of your your tension. So just keep and pushing it not, in with your nails and things. Yeah, you can use um, hair comb, which works quite well. Mm, oh yeah. And just just sort of or a knit push comb. it down a knit comb. Yeah, mm. it'd be lovely. Yeah, that's quite good for getting um, bobbles off jumpers. A knit comb. Mm. I've just bought a. Debobbler that's a waste of space. I didn't even think I don't have my own in it comb to be honest. Oh, uh, he's not at school yet, is no. he? No. No, you wait. Oh brilliant. Yeah, it's lovely. Shame said. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I tell you, umbilical cords and knits. What a show we're having today. Oh, oh sorry. you tune into jewelry makeup for glamour, don't you? Right, so <laughs> that that's um all I did. That's it. Up and down, up and down. So how do you so finish it? So if you, um, to finish it, it was really easy and I took it off the threads and then these end cords, if you pull them, these shrink in to however... Oh, of course. 
And then so that's you take, not got any ends. Yeah. So you take your, your rods out there. Obviously, this is going to shrink down to nothing because a little mm, tiny little. A thing. tiny little weeny weeny weave. So you can pull. You just pull them these and through. And when when you've got a bit more weaving on there. Again, this is all explained on the DVD for four ninety five. But when the bead loom is only twenty nine ninety five, and we've got loads of people texting in saying they have not found it lower price anywhere no. else, or the lowest price that we've had texted in is thirty five pounds. 40 something that Sue just texted in. Mm. Got a little review here on it actually. Fab price which can't be beaten, trust me, as I've done my research. Karen, <laughs> thank you for taking the time to fill in that review home in the West Midlands. Uh, Karen has bought this and yeah, it is fantastic quality and amazing value for money. So when when you're um, using the loom and you've you've done a section, you can then just pull it off and pull the threads through and they disappear you can uh, then you can either carry on by attaching it to your macrame board um, any of the, the loose ends and you can then attach sorry um, attach um, some more cords onto any of your loose ends mm -hmm. and use that like it's your your Just carry on macrame with cord it. and macrame off that fab Deb, thank you so much, your ace. We've given Deb like no time at all to do anything of her challenge at all whatsoever. Yet, so, uh, nah, you Deb, you'll be fine. Right, we're going to scoot over here because we've got an amazing seed bead. Now, we've got two bundles here, which you're going to love both of them. Very different looks from each. Um, oh, they're stunning, stunning, stunning. Which one shall I start off with? The brights. Right, I can't believe I just sung that. <laughs> I've never seen that film. Don't. No. You don't need to see it. I don't. It's horrific. I do. It's horrible. Wash it down. And Kim's just gone, oh no, it's awful. <laughs> I watched it at primary school. I remember. At primary school? Yeah. Yeah. Blubbing. Yeah. Sitting, sitting on a table because the teacher teared it so she, you felt like you were in a cinema. So some people sat on the floor, some people sat on a chair. And then some people sat on a table, so it felt like a cinema. Aww. And I remember being there, me and my best friend. Oh, we talk about it to this day, because we're still best friends. <laughs> you, got, you got taken out of the classroom when you watched Homeward Bound. I don't think I've seen that. Homeward Bound. I am as an equal gibbering wreck to wash it down as I am with E.T. Oh, goodness, <laughs> E.T. breaks my heart. It breaks my heart. Oh. Uh, bre oh. It just gets me. I tell you what, text in. What are, what are the films that make you absolutely wail? Green Mile, Ghost. Edward Scissorhands. It's so sad. I don't know if I've seen it all the way through. I remember it freaking me out a bit. Edward. Pay it, what, what's that, sorry? Mm. Pay it forward. I don't know that one. Carrie, a film that makes you sob. You've never cried at a film. You hardened woman, you. You've never cried at a film. How can you, how can you not have cried at a film? Do you know who's really bad at weeping at films? Sorry, my dad. Yeah. My dad. Bambi, Jane in Lancashire. Oh, Jane. Bambi. Yeah. Totally. Totally. <laughs> totally. What's the um the notebook? I've read the book so I refuse to watch the film because I know I'll be an absolute gibbering wreck. I need to watch a good weepy. I'm in that zone. I need a good weepy. I need a big watch of cheesecake, a cup of Ooh. tea, and a weepy. Maltesers. My girl, yeah, yeah. Keep them coming in, texting. What, what films? What do we need? What's a guaranteed weepy that we need to get Kerry to watch to make her hardened persona? <laughs> or she's never cried at a film. We're all trying to make Kerry cry. <laughs> the Lamb Before Time. Oh goodness, yes. 
No, it's just, isn't it awful though that what a lot of the ones, yeah, My Girl, yeah, what a lot of the ones are children's films. Isn't that awful? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right, take a look Top. at these. Marley and Me, yeah. Oh. I don't think I've seen that. Yeah. And I tell you what, we'll do wee peas for a bit and then we'll go on to a different genre. Yeah. Okay, have a look at this. Now, these are gorgeous. Think about the designs that you've seen Deb doing today. They very much lend themselves to using seed beads with the Eslon threads. We're doing micro macrame techniques. So the ones that you've got... Faceted tiger's eye. Red plain rounds, two millimetres. Quartz at uh, six mil and quartz at six by four because these are slight rondelles, subtle rondelles. Now they're beautiful, 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 aren't they? See, I'm thinking, if you look at this here, oh, you know what, you, oh, this, is, this is perfect, I've come up with a genius idea that's going to change your life. It's, this, this idea will change your life. See these? See these designs that have all been made out of beading thread? Don't you need this seed bead collection and then use your bronze colour, your antique bronze colour or your gold colour beading Ooh, thread? Oh, yes. You see, I told you I'd change your life today. I told you. You need mm. this, right? So if you have got beading thread at home that you don't know what to do with, perhaps in the other colours other than the silver colour. But with the silver colour, you can use white magnesite. Oops. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 we're having it. Oh, yeah, yeah. What do we think, girls? Yeah. Well, have got and we've got Carrie uh, about sort of sharing cameras at the moment about to jump on all right free phone number 0800 644 ihgc at 19 so you've got three mil magnesite two mil <gasps> this is amazing those two millimeter faceted um tiger's eye have been cut and faceted and drilled by hand isn't that amazing that they've been faceted when they're so dinky IHGC19, free phone number 0800 644 eight carrots of the red agate. Oh, do you know what? They're flying out. This is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful collection. I hope I haven't distracted you all now, though, by thinking what films make you cry. IHGC19. Are you ready? 15 pounds. One, two, three, four, five. Three pounds. It's trying to genuine gemstones. The beauty of these tiger's eye. Now, don't you remember as well when our seed beads used to be about six ninety five a strand? Yeah. And look, yeah. three pounds a strand. Congratulations now for again for those of you who are doing soutache as well. These are perfect, 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 perfect if you're wanting to thread beads into your Viking knit. So using beads with your lazy daisy, using beads. Um, threading it along your macrame as you go but you want it to be subtle they're absolutely stunning free phone number 0800 644 645 IHGC19 we're going to go into our pastels collection okay this next collection to me is screaming femininity and dare I say bridal oh, they're beautiful oh. At Don't Tell the Bride. You cry at Don't Tell the Bride on the TV. <laughs> I cry at Father of the Bride. I love Father of the Bride. That film is one of my favourite films of all time. And you've got Frog. And you're like, oh, he's just like this random French, European slash, um, just a completely erratic collection of different accents all in one. It's genius. Anyway, let's have a look at these. Ah, <laughs> oh, Kaz, we're just talking about films that make you cry. Kerry has never f cried at a film. Never? Never. See, I'm quite heartless and I've cried. Just because I've cried. Kaz is just saying <laughs> that she's quite heartless and she's cried. Kaz, you just said you cried at Toy Story. It's Toy Story, Lion King. Lion and King my and My Girl. girl. Toy Story, Lion King, and my God, don't you think it's really awful, though, that we're all crying at children's films? This is awful. 
<laughs> and is it, oh yeah, exactly. Uh, Director Claire has just said, is it awful that Wayne Cass said that she's heartless? Claire just went, yeah, <laughs> yeah, she is, yeah. Right, look at this collection now. This is beautiful. I really do think this has got, potentially got a bridal feel to it. Labradorite faceted wheels. Oh, look, at, just look at this strand by itself. Let me put this up to my neckline. Telltale tassels, high end strand. Five by three. There, that, ah, oh, tell you what, that, the price coming in for these alone is amazing. Then look at this strand of the rose quartz. Look at that rose quartz. They're angelic, aren't they? It's actually a pink quartz. It hasn't been classified as a rose quartz. It's a, a dyed pink quartz. Six millimetres. Then the seed beads. Oh. Now, wouldn't they be beautiful with that grey thread yeah. from the Eslon pack that sold out earlier? The, the dark grey, yeah. Mm. Yeah, that would look gorgeous with that. Be like a stormy, evocative sky mm. that you can see on the horizon. Horizon, horizontal. Well done, I can't believe that you've got to the age of 21 <laughs> and not known. <laughs> Three times nearly, no, <laughs> not quite. No. I feel like four, it today. Four, four. <laughs> <laughs> You've got two mil rounds in the amethyst, two mil rounds in the grey agate, and two mil rounds in the rose quartz as well. But again, that rose quartz is faceted. How the Ojimar flip flop have they done yeah. that? It's it amazes ah. me. Every time I get a strand of faceted seed beads. I just sit there looking at them thinking, how on the earth? The porcupines have done it. Are you familiar with the porcupine? No. They're little tiny creatures that live in the land of in the night garden. Oh. No, I've, I've never done night garden. No. no. Anyway. That's, uh, yeah, no, that's godsons that are into the in the night garden. The porcupines <laughs> are very, very small little wooden people that live in little cottages near trees. Ah. The borrowers. I wish I used to want borrowers in my house. I used to wish that I could wake up in the night and borrowers would come out from underneath my cabin bed. I wanted to. I wanted them to live in my house. Right. Okay. Anyway, moving on. Uh, <laughs> YGG six two. Free phone number oh eight hundred six triple four six double five. Under my cabin bed. That was my first beadery. Oh. Fifteen pounds. I created the whole thing and moved the desk out and everything and had the whole thing kitted out where I'm used to make jewellery under my wow. cabin bed with amber poise lamps. It was like a den of jewellery making. Oh, that was amazing. Uh, right, free vote number 0800 644 645. My friend that we used to call Moomin because she looked like a Moomin used to come round and we used to do it together. <laughs> Gorgeous. Fifteen pounds. This Moomin. is stunning. I've got lots of people buying more than one of these. Have we got people texting in films, Kim? Loads, right? Let's have a look at some text while we're doing this. Then she's just loading them up. Mm -hmm. So we're talking about films that make you cry, and we're going to move on to different types of films later because we need some feel good. Do you Happy remember films. the Champ? Its first no. film, the first film I remember totally crying Champ. at. Then Never Ending Story. Omg, ah, mm. Kellyanne. Yeah, Champ. It's there. Was it early 80s? It's somewhere. It's somewhere in in my head. No, come on, come on. Kim's going like, oh no, I can't show these. Some people are putting the spoilers in. <laughs> Please don't put your customer number on the text because we can't show it on screen because then otherwise people will be able to shop all the time. Um, Hi Lizzie, Deb and the crew. Terms of Endearment is the one from me. Um, I don't think I've seen that. I don't think I've seen that. We need to start writing these down. If you need a good weepy, these are the ones being recommended. Them. Thank you. Oh, on Golden Pond. That's a sad one. Well, it's sad and it's lovely as well. It's um, Henry Fonda and... Um, 
someone else. Ujimiflip, yeah. Ujimiflip. That you famous... know the one. No, I really don't. They're sitting in a boat and... I don't know the film. Oh. Um, Maybe I do. It's a rowing boat, a little rowing boat. Is she wearing a hat? Yeah. Well, he is. He's Can't wearing remember. a hat. <laughs> He's wearing a hat, yeah. There's a hat involved. I've got a vague yeah. image. I swear I had a past life. Should we go to the Wall of Fame? <laughs> Let's Somebody has been busy. These are, are my jewellery, my type of jewellery, totally. 352, this is gorgeous. Uh, from Linda, hello lovely. This is from Linda in Leicester, offering a selection of necklaces and some bracelets with gold pearls. And gosh, she's listed everything here. It just goes on and on and on. There's massive amounts that you've got. Uh, all components from Jewellery Maker. Having a rest now with a pastry, a pan of chocolate. It's Ooh. really not a pain. Uh, <laughs> and coffee. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> Best wishes and good luck to all the competitors from at Linda. P.S. Need bulk offer on toggles as you use most of these up now. Kim, do you get that? Linda wants a bulk offer on toggle clasps. We're on the case, hun. 352, <laughs> good luck to you. Um, this is 353 from Lorraine Platford. Hello. hello all at JM. Oh hello! <laughs> I thought you were reading it with No, me, I was just saying uh, it. Oh I was obviously in the zone. You were. Hope the weather is better than it is here. Nah. This, <laughs> this is a bracelet that I made for my boyfriend's mum. I've never known someone to be there for so many people, even though she isn't well. Oh. Um I made this bracelet with tanzanite small chips, abalone, and finished off with a sterling silver clasp. All items bought, of course, from JM. Love the designers, the presenters, and the show. Lorraine, I nearly, I nearly read that last bit then, sent from my iPad. Yeah. I won't read that. <laughs> no, maybe don't. No. <laughs> Get back to that umbilical cord. Right then. Uh, gorgeous, really gorgeous, Lorraine, well done. Uh, did warn you that we didn't know quite what was gonna happen in today's show. Three, five, four. Oh, Tracy and Sheffield, this is stunning. <gasps> Hi, all at JM Towers. Here's my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. A leather the cuff made from the veg uh, tan leather I got when you launched it last month. Uh, I used brown nappa leather and brown cord from JM along with a piece for the old bracelet, from an old bracelet to decorate it. Hope that although it's simple design, it's good enough to be shown on the wall. Absolutely. Can't wait for the tooling leather workshop with Natalia in a couple of weeks. Really looking forward to it. Good luck to all entries, although my bank balance could do with a win. Tracy in Sheffield. Tracy, that's really gorgeous, hun. Three, five, yeah. four. <gasps> Love that. And we look forward to seeing you on the workshop. Number three, five, five. This is amazing. Really even. That's beautiful. Um, very regular work. Uh, it is from Annette. Hello, Annette. Um, Annette Emery and she says hi JM I'm determined to keep making summery jewellery even though the weather has turned cold and wet <laughs> my entry this week is a long rose quartz and freshwater pearl necklace with a wirework dragonfly to add a focal point I hope you like it best wishes from Annette I know that's really stunning dragonflies are everywhere at the moment mm. um, for my birthday yeah. I've got a beautiful chain that's got um, and you can buy interchangeable pendants it's oh, all nice. it's all set metal it's not it's a silver color but yeah interchangeable pendants of dragonflies and stars and then you can do christmas trees at christmas oh, and that sort cool. of thing but yeah so that looks so so in good luck hun and then oh look at this <sighs> 356 is a lovely Janice in Milton Keynes. This week's entry is two fun abstract rings, all from JM except the piece of rose quartz which fell out from an existing pendant. <laughs> combined with pre night and a gorgeous toll, uh, which, sorry, combined with pre night, um, which are gorgeous, together the 1.25 silver wires made the first ring. And then the second ring is using blue fluorite, eye light, blue pearls, and sterling silver beads. And this one transports me to the ocean, she says. Great fun making them. Love the birthday show and want to say a huge well done to you all, presenters, designers, and the team for making it so enjoyable. Thank you, Janice. And best wishes to everybody from Janice and Milton Keynes. Janice, they're lovely. Mm. Really lovely, hun. Three, five, six. So, 
Oh my goodness, we've got loads to do. Deborah's got to start her challenge. Yes, I've um, just started. <laughs> about oh, that much. much. <laughs> but coming up for you, we of course have got those extraordinary sapphires. The quality is incredible. Incredible, incredible. But did you know there's various ways? Oh, and also we've got a whopping bundle to do for you straight after the break. But when we come back after the break, there you go. Oh, actually, Ooh. we're going to do that one. Oh, the most amazing hand rolls. Stunning, 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 stunning. But when we come back after the break, we will be doing that one. But just so you know, during the break, there's different ways you can get in touch with us. And of course, we want you to get in touch with us today. We're talking about films, and I want to change it up a peg. So we're talking about weepies, but I now want to know what films make you belly laugh. Do you belly laugh at films, Kerry? Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Oh, she has got a heart, <laughs> just in a different way. <laughs> we'll see you on the other side of this. Get involved with Jewellery Maker by sending the studio a message during our live hours. You can send a text to 60777 and start your message with JM Studio or alternatively go to our website and click on watch the live show. Simply type your message into the box and press send. Make sure you stay tuned in case your message is read out. Get interactive with Jewellery Maker. The early bird catches the worm. Don't miss out on your chance to grab our amazing early bird offers at 9am on weekday mornings. Catch them while you can. Jewelry Maker ships to the following countries. We offer two delivery services, standard and premium. So wherever you are in the world, Jewelry Maker are never far away. Add a mystery gift to your order today and you'll receive a surprise full of fantastic treats and goodies with a huge saving guaranteed. Check out our online reviews from Jewelry Maker customers who have previously purchased one of these mystery gifts. Go on, treat yourself with a little gift. Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting. But being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order for just 50p and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates for items you have previously ordered by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from the Genuine Gemstone Company. Okay, so coming up for you, we've got literally oodles and oodles and oodles. We've got masses to pack into the show, so I'm going to speed things along slightly, but still keep your text messages coming in, and we'll have a look at those in just a moment. So, we're going to start off, though, this next part of the show with a brand spanking new Dinky Matrix collection. It features 22 pieces, but this is brilliant for those of you who are ready to take... You need more findings, basically. There's no better way to put it. And really do, this lends itself to macrame. Saying that, it lends itself to macrame because you've got ribbon cord ends, so obviously squeezing the ends of your ribbons or cords in. However, like I said earlier on in the show, you can flatten these ribbon cord ends out and you can stamp onto them and use them as blanks. The price is gonna be absolutely amazing. Now have a look at these. And in fact, earlier, um, Oh, here we go, spilling everything everywhere again. Deb, could I trouble you just to pass over those earrings that you made? Those the ribbon cord, yep. um, and the other ones as well. Those ones. Oh, yeah. the ones and the other with ones the... Are, yeah. Thank you. Flowers. So, here we go, because this features a lot of ribbon cord ends in it. Yeah. Thank you very much, my lovely, okay. thank you. So, the typical way that you think of using it is you pinch your threads off, but actually, if you take off that end, look at the way that Deb has used them here. Completely different settings. Now, you're going to get one, two, three, 
four ribbon cord ends. A stunning large toggle clasp. A smaller toggle clasp, 50 centimetres of chain, sorry, 30 centimetres of chain, and 15 jump rings, 5 millimetre jump rings. This is, oh my word. Hello, we're a little bit busy today, aren't we? <laughs> now, obviously we've used rose gold already with the first kit in today's mm. show and the more findings you have the further your kit is going to go now this is really really lovely because it's a matrix collection it also comes in this little storage box which is so useful are you a good storage uh, person i am yeah i love storage when i was when i was a kid um it used to make my mum laugh because i'd put something that i wanted to keep into a box and then I'd put it into another box or a bag. And it, it was just, I don't know why, but I used to put things inside and inside. And, and I love wrapping presents and putting things in, in fantastic storage boxes so I know where everything is. And Are you incredibly bit... organized? Yes and no. So you're organizing as much as you enjoy it, but you don't yeah. necessarily stick to it because you're creative. No. Yeah. Totally my type of person. <laughs> totally. Yeah. My husband's slightly like always very like that. Okay. Yeah. Free phone number. Oh eight hundred six double four six double five. What was that, sorry? Six ninety five. It's brand spanking new. So this is nine carat rose gold on top of the coffer. It's really, really, really fab. Oh eight hundred six double four six double five. Look at this. Oh eight hundred six double four six double five. We've got loads of these in stock, which is why your price is so low. Congratulations, and again to those of you who are multi buying, it is only one post and packaging price for all of your purchases. It's brand spanking new today. And we've got Anne in Derbyshire. Congratulations. We've got people in Swansea, Buckinghamshire, Cambridgeshire, Northumberland, Shropshire, another Nottinghamshire. Uh, Kent, Bedfordshire, Warwickshire, Wiltshire, lots and lots of new people there, completely anonymous people there as well. 695 0800 644 655. Fab, fab, fab value for money. Free phone number and one post and packaging price for all of your purchases all day. You're flying in for this still at 695. If you're wanting it, grab it right now. Got a good quantity, which is why the price is so low. Now, of course, if you did get that ribbon cord end, uh, sorry, the uh, The threading materials pack, okay. then the ribbon cord ends is going to be incredibly useful for you. Free phone number 0800 644 655. Now then, did you say we've got loads of people texting in? Fab. Well, uh, we're going to launch something brand. two pieces that you brought in for the show today yeah. with the cabochons yeah I got so good at saying that word now could I just <laughs> have them over here please thanks genius idea you know that second kit that had the sorry the first kit that had the blue thread in it thank you darling you need to do these thank you darling oh Feast your eyes on these and obviously also think down the world of Soutache when you think of cabochons. But look at these. Look, are you ready? So how many of you got that first kit with the blue colour thread in it? Dad. Oh, they're nice. Mm. They, yeah, and they're, they're drilled. They're, they're drilled. They're are not they? actually, yeah. They're big massive coins. I thought they were all cabochons. But you've got the opportunity, obviously you can use oh, it wow. as a cabochon, but look at the size of the hole as well. Now, doesn't that make it easier, surely? Yeah, yeah. If you've got an anchor point of putting a thread through and then you can macrame around it as well. Well, you wouldn't need to um, sort of make the frame that you have to make, but 
you, you sort of make like um like a mesh that goes round the caption normally yeah. you wouldn't need to so then you could have it Just so it, like it was almost floating <gasps> between. yes but yeah. at the same time you could do a frame and make it look you like could. a camera shot yeah. if you wanted to couldn't you yeah so have a look at these so you're getting five of those are magnificent quartz and um, it you've lost the graphics there slightly so it goes from a 20 millimeters up to a 39 millimeters so obviously almost four centimeters you've got one at the 39 millimeters two at 29 millimeters and two at 20 millimeters you're then going to be getting in terms of findings a meter of antique bronze um copper chain so the antique bronze is the color it's a copper chain with the color of antique bronze on the top that there then you're also going to be getting all your jump rings um 14 jump rings at five millimeters two pairs of shepherd hooks stunning toggle clasps oh that toggle clasp is gorgeous look at these three loop toggle clasp and a Ooh. lobscore clasp isn't that beautiful oh, i've not seen that before now we were going to do 14.95 for this collection today i'm going to be really honest with you we're quite quiet for a saturday because i think last weekend took everybody's pennies yeah. so we're going to have to price slash even further than intended that comes included as well 14.95 intended price for it today's price 9.95 that's really so we can see how many of you out there watching oh eight hundred six double four six double five. look at these oh isn't that glorious it's a Amazing. genuine gemstone of gorgeous quartz free phone number 0800 644 now you'll just have to excuse me because i just desperately need a glug of water so while we're on that shot there i'll just have a treat myself to a little drink one piece one neck piece with all of those captions going round the neck oh. and graduating round oh how ridiculously fabulous Lovely. that be been, yeah a amazing. really looks indulgent but hey yeah. it's only cost you 9.95 yeah. in terms of those big size gemstones and when we worked out that incredibly intricate piece um that deb has made that we showed earlier all of that massive amount of thread cost us 68p so you could get oh an explosively elegant look. We're using genuine gemstones made for less than ten pounds. Amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Okay, we're gonna move on. Ah, got sneeze brewing. Which box was that, sorry, Kim? Okie dokie. Big collection of seed beads, big collection of seed beads, really, 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 really beautiful. In fact, lowest price of seed beads today. Black agate, green agate, orange quartzite. Now I'm going to warn you, we are taking a huge hit on items from now till the end of the show. We need to do something um, quite drastic because we're a lot quieter than we usually are on a Saturday. Like I said, I think last, last weekend we took most of your pennies because of course it was a birthday weekend. That does mean if you're watching today, get ready for ludicrous parkings. Um, Deb, just to warn you, this is going below staff cost. So if you're in need of seed beads, these are amazing. Now the green here as well, of the green agate is faceted once again. So they're two millimeter rounds and they're faceted by hand. They're just stunning, 438 centimeter strands each of these 38 centimeters each strand i've said gc48 very low stock on this but it'll be on a first come first serve basis so so far our lowest price on cb is from three pounds a strand how about two pounds and 32p ish each two pounds and 32 pounds a strand of genuine gemstone seed beads <laughs> and here we can see there's a lot more of you watching now what's really fabulous of course these are from brazil there's a real brazilian element and a flair in the air at the moment i think because the world cup yeah. is approaching yeah. um lots of you will know that i've got a, a entertainment company as well and we've got a lot of brazilian dancers uh, being requested for events and their costumes are all these vibrant oh, colors wow. and we've got them in feathers and bikinis and sequins goes back to my days in the west end and so at 6.95 for these there's definitely scope at the moment for this really 
vibrant tone and then drawing it back and giving it a fantastic backdrop of the black agate so 0800 six double four six double five wig okay we're proving to be quite busy on this one then they're two millimeter seed beads and of course if you're wanting soutache designs and inspiration for soutache this is perfect um how many left sorry there's only nine of this offer left and where are we going to next kim sorry what we're doing the brand new one this labradorite is out of this world spectacular with the quality um we were talking about it before the show and it's going to go to eight pounds and 95 pence it'll be on a first come first serve basis we have got a big quantity of these. They were going to be at eleven ninety five. There is some beautiful, beautiful, beautiful shiller on these. They're absolutely amazing. Eight ninety five is on a first come first serve basis, but we are. Do you know what? When the bargains are there, when the bargains are there, you're there. And so, Danny has just come into the studio. Danny, everyone's just wanting ridiculous low prices today. <laughs> I think uh, obviously we do. Show. Pardon? Into the mid show, better tune into the mid-show he's saying yeah it's going to be a cracking low price day and I can understand why middle of the month it's a bit different isn't it with finances because you might have a bit of money still from payday but you know that it's got to last you to the end of the month and then there's a payday so we're going to town with serious serious bargains I am a bargain hunter I'm completely with you but it's still getting the absolute quality it's about getting the quality at the lowest driving prices that we can provide as possibly in the industry and we're pushing the boundaries today because we can. N O R U one zero eight ninety five for fantastic labradorite. Big size is seven by fourteen. Sorry, um, a seven millimeter up to a fourteen millimeter in diameter. Twenty three centimeter strand. This is genuine labradorite at eight ninety five. Amazing, amazing, amazing value. Fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. A brand new strand. Oh, 0800 six treble four six double five now i have to warn you that this next kit which has got two lots of eslon in kim are you really seriously going that low kim's going to do this next kit for 19.95 it's on a first come first serve basis now i have to warn you this will fly out so incredibly quickly it is beautiful which finest pack is it it's a brand new one but in the silver colour. It's a brand new but in the silver colour findings pack. I'll talk you through those findings and show you a close up of them. It's a different type of chain. You've got the heart uh, brush toggle clasp in there. Sorry, the heart brush connector in there. You've got these beautiful square spaces. You've got little bulbous flowers head pins as well as the round head pins or the featherweight head pins. This is stunning, stunning, stunning. 1995. This was not a 1995 kit. This is proof that we are having, le well, we're having a, typically in the world of sales, it's a slower day. We've got less people watching. We can certainly see by the amount of offers that we're providing and we've taken some, we've taken a hit on some items. If we haven't got a huge amount of people coming in for them, say, hundreds uh, or thousands um, for some things coming in we know that it's a quieter day out there so we have to push the boundaries that's why this kit immediately on screen 1995 let's get some turnover coming in so um deb wow mm. what a beautiful kit tell us where you started and what you did um it, it was lovely and those clear quartz are stunning absolutely gorgeous oh um, that was from the other kit oh and we didn't show it Oh, sorry. Don't worry. <laughs> um, it's in the wrong place, wasn't it? Sorry, that'll be photographed with the rest of it. Um, I started with this one on the end here. Um, and they're iolite, aren't they? Pardon? Are they, are they iolite drops? They are they indeed. Are, I'll get a size um, there for you in just a second. So I started with that one. It was sort of a throwback to the 1970s. With a, a wall hanging type a tapestry um, wall hanging yeah that sort of uh, look and um, then I started playing with the amethyst I can confirm um, that the eye light is a 4 by 2 up to an 11 by 4 it's a 28 centimetre strand it's here the eye light's here it's absolutely lovely it is shape. absolutely gorgeous the, those little drops work beautifully yeah, don't they they do really really rich color that's natural eye light there okay so that's that one um 
yes, so I had to get my hands on those first <laughs> um, and have a play with those. Um, but the, uh, the quartz and the amethyst just work so really well with the, uh, the colours of the cord, as does the eye light, mm. um, that I wanted to, to mix them all up in, in some pieces. Um, Fab, I've got the two strands here. All of the strands in this kit have come directly from our workshops in Jaipur in India. So look at the faceting you're getting mm. on those quartz. The price just for the gemstones is extraordinary. They're amazing, the clarity on those and mm. the size of them, they're, they're beautiful. The work in, in that strand is incredible. So I wanted to, to really show it off um, and use quite a lot of them um in the one piece uh, and and just be able to see them and against the black thread they're amazing mm. um, and here as well against the the gray with the gray yeah because we've got two lots of the s long cord as well so the three strands of genuine gemstones are there but the s long cord is here and you've got the dusky um night grey and then that gorgeous jet black on the S on as well and they're both the 0.4 um, that's the yeah 0.4 millimeters in thickness on the S log and you're going to get 70 meters of each so it's the charcoal and the grey it's referred to then you've also got all the threading material so 50 meters of bean thread 60 meters of clear elastic 80 meters of monofilament now I'm going to show you the findings just before we continue on looking at the jewellery that Deb has made because they are very, very, very different. And gorgeous. Uh, very different from ones that we've had of late. I have been warning you over the last few days actually, over the last couple of weeks, that we were starting to phase out our other flower collection. Look at these. These head pins are beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I didn't get to use the new ones in this kit because they weren't in when Becky sent me the kit out. Okay. So I've got old findings. So you've done the old findings, but yeah. you, you've been upgraded you, basically. Yes, you get the new ones. Wow, so which you'll is be fab. getting the upgraded findings, um, which means for the old price, which is just. <laughs> 19 and 95 there's gorgeous spaces in there as well so we have upgraded the findings since uh, Deb had the kit and then also the chain look at the difference in the chains beautiful it is I need this in my life I wear so much chain and use so much chain I think I can hear Jenny Cleary can you it's suddenly gone very loud out there. <laughs> <laughs> we love that. 0800 644 I bet I know exactly what she's talking about as well. I'm not going to give the game away. You'll see for yourself. 0800 644 So, um, Deb, the two pairs of earrings you've made as well, and that gorgeous bracelet. I mean, even just the bracelet. Yeah. The they were amazing. The exquisite quality amethyst, they're beautiful. They, they just glow with a purple light. They're amazing, absolutely amazing, those, the amethyst. And then the amethyst with the clear quartz for these earrings. Yeah. And then obviously as Deb had the old um, findings pack, the, the now end of uh, line findings pack, we've upgraded you for free, but she had the rondelles in there uh, yeah. for these earrings, but you won't be getting it however you'll get a variety of different spacer bees and accenting bees. But to use the tassels is really lovely because that's a really lovely silvery grey. There's it's, definitely it, scope for you yes, to know two together, yeah, isn't there? Yeah. Really lovely. Okay, so what technique are you going to be showing to us? I thought I'd show you um, this section here, um, just how that's worked on that um, yeah fab. so you've got a couple of different things there you've got basic square knot um, yeah. running down um, and going across at the between the bead the, these the gems here the eye light and the square knot you've actually got um, more square knots but then you move your strands around so you get more of a lace um, effect and I'm not sure how well I'll be able to do it upside down, but I'll give it a go. 
Okay. <laughs> um, let's see. I have done a square knot upside down and backwards before. Director Claire is saying we can try. Can we give it a go? Yeah, absolutely. The other camera, and then we'll can turn around part way so we can keep yeah keep turning it to the camera so we yeah. can get close up. Okay. Just going to put a couple of pins in the top to hold the um, the top of it square. So I've I've taken. Um, I'm so sorry. Just that's before right. you carry on. We've got 24, however, we've got 14 people with this in baskets and we've got people waiting to be answered on the phone lines. Please check out your baskets right now. Please check out your basket right now. 0800 644 655, many thanks. Okay, right. So what I did was um, took my cords about 75, centimeters -ish. are you looking at me at wanting me to judge how that, wide part that's that is? about a meter isn't it yeah. so yeah about 75 centimeters so technical <laughs> there are thereabouts that, that. that. Mm -hmm. yeah um i'll have to measure that one of these days and then okay. i'll know how much it is um but it doesn't really matter because you can just go down as far as you want and then stop and cut it off anyway so i did trim it goes I mean, you get Hold 70 metres, so if you want to do perhaps more than you initially think, yeah, it's that, that is fine. You get 70 metres of each colour. Well, what I do as well is if I um, trim something down or cut some ends off, I put them into a bag because then if I want to attach different pieces together... You've got some pieces. Or I want, yeah, I want to do just a tiny section somewhere, I've got some short bits so I don't need to cut brand oh, new lengths. Okay. Um, okay. If we have a look at this then, so I've I've got one, two, three, four, five, six cords. So I double over my seventy-five centimeters, attach it in exactly the same way as previously. Okay. If we take the first four cords on the left, separate them out. So you've got two lazy strands and then um, two cords either side and you tie a square knot. So left hand over your lazy strands and then the right hand under your lazy strands and up through the loop and pull up to the top and then reverse that. So your right hand strand goes over your two lazies and the left one goes under the lazies and through the loop. So you work that all the way across. So if I just quickly do another one. Okay, you take your next four. Is that showing up okay? Yeah. Yeah. Good, because it's ever so difficult going <laughs> upside down saying. and backwards. <laughs> okay, so. Once again, we've got lots of people with it still in their baskets and we've got four people on the phone line for it as well. So it will sell out. If you want it to go to you and it's in your basket, just check out your basket right here, right now. <laughs> okay. And then next one. So just make sure that you're not um, crisscrossing your strands so you keep everything in order. Um, because you will see if you if you end up that's not right is it if you end up um, taking sort of your your first three chords and your fifth chord you'll you will see where you've made the mistake and where it's it's uh, gone wrong so okay that's all the way across now then the next row you will need pins so you go back to the left. I'm just going to hold that up to the oh, yep. camera that way, if that's okay. Thank you. Cool. Kay. Okay. Little groups. Little groups, yeah. Make sure everything's level. And then take your first four and separate off to the first two. So 
so which oh we're on that one okay <laughs> showing the wrong camera then it's not going to help is it okay take two from your second group of four and then pop your two lazy strands down take a pin and you'll decide how far away from this row you want your next row to come um, and pop a pin in and then you tie your knot on the opposite side of the pin and that stops your knot from traveling all the way down to meet the others uh, okay i always wondered how that happened yeah so then whoops okay so you need to just pull and make sure you've got your tension right and i haven't there so you can loosen it off with a pin and then just if you take another pin and hold it here then you can just manipulate the knot up that one doesn't want to move over so there we go let's get in there that's it and then move over and pop um, your next pin in so that you've you've got them in a row and you can work your next four strands around that pin so to to do that all the way across now one technique that's quite handy and is really good with the um, the macrame board is to actually put your um, your pins use use this like a ruler Oh, okay. So if you put just put your cord across te as a temporary um, marker, you can put your pins across where you'll be wanting your knots to go, mm -hmm. and then just get rid of that. So you, you're sure then that that's all going to be in a straight line. So it keeps all your knots nice and straight. Um, so if I get rid of that, so we'll. We'll do this pin here now and just uh, knot across. So I need to get rid of those two. Can I just show that to everybody at the stage we're at there? Yep. Just to keep them updated okay. if that's okay. Thank you. Okay, I've pulled that too tight now, just popping it in there. but. You, if you notice that you've done that just loosen it off so that you you're straight on the bottom otherwise you'll end up getting okay, distortion yeah. in your weave another update regarding um, everybody with it in their <laughs> baskets We've got 12 people with it in your basket so we've only got two left 10 of you are going uh, to miss out or maybe all of you if people on the telephone get it first good luck okay so Yeah. Try this out. one. Sold out now. The colours on these cords are lovely and they all work together really nicely. So if you've got a couple of the kits, they all work um, with each other so you can mix them, mix them all up. Okay, that's our second knot tied for that row. And then taking pins again. We now bring these side ones back into the, the mix and we can decide we're going to put another knot here. So take the first four chords and again you need to make sure that you are taking the first four and not a mixture and then you can tie another square knot around this pin here and carry on Oops. so attach those so if i tie that one off and then we can so show really it really isn't 
hard, it's just being nope. precise with patience. Yeah, the, I think the biggest, um, it's, not, it's not even patience really, it's just taking your time and, um, oh no, oh well I can show you that, <laughs> I've mixed it up. So we've got, we've got the, um, the cords here have, have got crossed. So you can see how that just wrecks your pattern really, because um, I've taken, what have I done? I've taken cord number four and turned it into cord number two in some random way. Um, but when you undo your pins, it means that your lines are all lined up. Okay, yeah. So I'd have to undo that with a okay. pin. But this, this cord, um, it undoes really easily. Some cords stick and are a complete nightmare um, to undo, but that would that would work oh. quite well. Great, so thank you. Just take your time over it, and it's so it's, it's patience fine. and precision rather than difficulty. Yes. On that one. So Deb, thank tricky. you so much. Well, we'll give you like three seconds to do something yeah. like your challenge now, <laughs> if you like. Thank you. Um, <laughs> right then, keep your text messages coming in. We'll start talking about films again very shortly. But first of all, I have to do this strand. It is, oh, oh, it's just, oh. With 925 sterling silver would be a dream. Obviously with silver colour findings as well, it's going to look absolutely outstanding. I've got Kyanite coming up later in the show that I think it'd look amazing with. Look at these. Ah. Oh, Summer, summer, summer time. Summer time. <laughs> you see, I can see that working with Labradorite as well. Yes, that would look gorgeous. With the. Uh, Is there a particular the technique, macrame technique, that you think would work particularly well with this shape of gemstone? Well, you could. Uh, oh, look at that. You Aren't could actually um, set mm. them as if they were a cabochon mm. shape and, and mm. um, work off in, in quite sinewy lines from yeah. that because it's, it's so geometric. Talking about geometric, let me hold these down to my hand for a moment because if you have a look at the frame of this amazing bangle that Deb created, and it is amazing, I think there's definitely scope for using the frame of that with this mm. shape as well, isn't there? Like scoot one of those in there. Oh yeah. Just manipulating yes. your design Deb, I hope you don't mind. <laughs> That's fine. How incredibly <laughs> It's kind of like mermaidy, my producer Kim has just yeah. said. But there is that the colour of the beading thread. But they're gorgeous now. How many of you are making a transition from glass beads as well? Because there's something very of they're obviously not glass because you've got those natural inclusions there and you've got the quality and when you feel them they feel called they're amazing but there is something that would lend itself oh, do you know what with enamel wouldn't these look great with mm. resin or enamel resin yeah definitely because um the the color is beautiful and you you could mix a resin up that would just tone yeah really well with that because oh, it's quite an unusual cool. blue it is it's a really unusual blue i would say it's like a it's london like, blue topaz blue. yes yeah i was going to say it's like a french navy yeah. sort of yeah 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 which a lot of yeah. people compare a london blue topaz yes. <laughs> yeah yeah or oh, we're on the same wavelength it's always very <laughs> useful during a show but i do think now seeing this blue as well i immediately thought silver silver yes yeah, silver but actually yellow gold with that as well would give a very Ooh, regal look be very glam oh and again and rose gold and copper and all obviously the different color yeah. wires that we now have so 110 carats and they're going to go from a 12 by 6 to a 35 by 8. you'll see there are some that are absolutely bang on perfect matches in there if you wanted to do earrings as well Definitely lending themselves. You see, I'm thinking Laura Binding's techniques as well of when she encases piece and put them in big bangles or big chunky yeah, rings and things. Nice. And uh, yeah, but, yeah, 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 yeah. But as well, if you just restring it like that with some spaces in between, that looks lovely just hanging like that, yeah, doesn't it? Absolutely. And maybe doing what you've done on a couple of the designs today, which is 
take it perhaps up to the top of the collarbone and then put chain, chain around. Yes. Because the chain that we've got now is so beautiful. So, so beautiful. It would really, really work. So 110 carats, 12 by six up to a 35 by eight. That's a 16 centimeter strand. That's gonna give you approximately, oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 on a strand, 110 carats, Free phone number 0800 644 655 EFRU48. You ready? At nine pounds and ninety five pence, and they are beautiful, and they're genuine gemstones. And to get quartz of that clarity in that size is mind boggling. Congratulations! Now I'm even thinking a sort of a bit of a swirls of wire going down them as well. You see, as backdrops, especially with the. Um, yeah. with the new head pins that we've got with the little flowers on the end they'd work those. really nicely in in the rose gold color would be amazing on mm. there those flowers and those um the square spaces now would i don't know what the size how the size would fit but they you could almost make um a, a fancy bale using yes. them and some copper wire that would sit really snugly on the top yeah that'd be nice to that'd be to gorgeous play with. Yeah. let me just put the um the kyanite alongside that as well it's a very different blue it goes to show the different sorts mm. of tones that you can get in there but i'm oh oh that's nice Ooh. yeah i'm thinking with silver clay as well yeah. They've got a very high-end look to them. They're taking me, you know when you look at something and you get transported, they're taking me to a specific jewellers in the Cotswolds that does handmade jewellery. <laughs> and they, when I go in, they're like, we'll pretend we don't know you, but we get a lot of our things from you. I don't know why they pretend, because it's we make no secret that we supply to a lot of big suppliers. I think possibly because they charge a lot for their jewellery. They don't want to give the game away for how low they're paying for their prices mm. for the materials. But ah, oh, I know for a while, if they're watching right now, they'll snap up a few of these for the style of jewellery they make. They make quite a lot of state. They've almost got a stained glass feel to them. Do you know, they have. And when you put it against the... Um the bracelet that I made, you can see the beading thread through because they're so yeah. clear. Yeah. Let me just tuck that in again. Where did I do it? Oh, it's flexible, it all move. Mm. Golly, no, but it's your piece of jewelry, Deb. There you go. It's just to give you an idea of the colour of the um, beading thread's back. Yeah, you really can. You can. That's I amazing. Mean, walls. Oh eight hundred six double four six double five. Right, Kim. You know how we were going to go to the Wall of Fame, and then we were going to have a break, and then we we're going to do the emeralds. Claire's taking it upon herself to change that. Are you happy with that? <laughs> we're going to do it now. Is that all right, Direct Claire? I am about to do an offer on emeralds that's never been done before. Ooh. Okay, so here's the deal. This isn't gonna be in the price bracket for everybody, but what I'm about to bring to you has never ever been done before and it's natural emeralds. They're completely utterly natural in their color they have been hand cut and hand faceted in our own workshops in Jaipur in India. Let me tell you a little bit more about them. These emeralds are so prestigious that they have been sourced and from the, um, I'm trying to think, I didn't know the name of the actual mine that these, is it, is it there Kim? It's the um, it's a it's a quite one of the major mines in Africa, and so what Steve, one of our um, owners of the company and a main main gem hunter, will do, will go to the mine and buy 
I mean, we're talking vast amount in terms, it's all relative to the material you're buying, but vast amount of emeralds. The reason he's bought vast amounts is because he's mainly bought larger ones, which have gone to Gems TV, which is two studios along, Rocks TV, which is next door, Gem Collector, which is upstairs, and jo uh, The Lounge, which is upstairs. Now that's where the larger emeralds have gone. But in buying all the really big, impressive emeralds, the same quality of emerald, but on a smaller scale, hasn't had a particular use to be set into gold or silver for the designs that they were intended for, which means they're perfect for beading. So we get the size that we want, but we get the quality that we don't usually get because emeralds, Emeralds of this size, you're usually looking at excess emeralds, you're looking at um, chips. To, to get them of this quality, you'd usually be looking at basically offcuts. Okay, these aren't. They are beautiful, genuine emerald individual stones that just weren't right for the designs for Gems TV um, and Rocks TV and, and uh, Gem Collector and The Lounge. So we're looking, first of all, this is all about the quality. Now, what's really, really, really exciting is that we've gone directly to the workshop, uh, sorry, to the mine in Africa. We've then bypassed all of the scenario, which pre frequently, in more cases than not, happens in the, ge the gemstone industry, about getting the gemstone to, um, to market. Now, if that was a set piece of jewelry, you'd be looking at about 14 middlemen. We're probably cutting out about eight middlemen in our process to get it into a strand because we've gone directly literally big pieces and smaller pieces of emeralds in the rough have been bought taken to our own workshops in Jaipur in India and not left there until they've come to us here in the studio so from there the color matching the uh, color grading the cutting the faceting and the polishing has all happened now because they're such great emeralds they haven't needed any treatment so you've saved money by buying a higher quality emerald you haven't had to pay for a treatment in there so it is amazing now this is um, some of the cutting that will have taken place and the shaping with some of the most skilled lapidarists um, in Jaipur in India now they're in our very we've got a workshop within Pink City as well and it is amazing now what you're about to get is this strand twice over now we've never done an offer like this on Jewelry Maker before I think I think I made it known and I did get told off I shouldn't have really said it but I've, I've been saying it and because I've said it I might as well continue to say it. We didn't get through, it was about probably about an eighth of the stock that we didn't get through on the birthday weekend last weekend and this was going to be an offer on the birthday weekend. Okay, but because we didn't do it, we can do it today. I just can't believe the colour! They're natural! Look at the to the colour of these and again I'm so sorry that was really high pitched if your dogs are squealing at the TV I don't know how <laughs> um, they are they are stunning and they're natural and you've got a 30 day money back guarantee let me just out of interest turn that round yeah, there you go you see now we have done a, a couple of hundred strands of these that are um, color matched in a very similar way. So you can see slight differences with the amount of darker ones and compared to the lighter ones. Do you know how rare it is to get that clarity of those lighter ones, it's explicit to get the clarity in the emeralds? Emeralds are known to have inclusions and to have what we call jardins. These are emeralds. Now, interestingly enough as well, these are May's birthstone. We're in the, bun the, the month of May. We're in the month of May and we're going to do the lowest price we have ever done this quality and carrot weight of emeralds for. And you're going to get 40 carats of emeralds. So each strand is 20 carats. The price for one on the website is 34.95. Ludicrous. Ludicrous, 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 ridiculously low anyway. But by getting this offer today, you're going to get one of them for 15 pounds. It's a case of first come first serve, free phone number 0800 644 It's an amazing opportunity with a 30 day money back guarantee. The best of luck to every single one of you because nowhere else we believe could get you this quality at that price. You are jewellery making with the finest possible emeralds. 18 centimetres on each strand, giving you a 36 
centimetre collection of quality of emerald of calibre, calibre, colour, cut, carrot weight, exquisite, 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 exquisite quality. £50 for the two strands. This is bonkers. And um, I've got so many of you that have put this in your basket. And Kim, my producer, is going slightly bonkers saying, check out your baskets, man. Check out your baskets. Because you will miss out. We have got people flying in on the phone lines. This will be a sellout offer. ZXGC90. Now, the great thing is as well, you know what? You don't just have to take my word for it. First of all, I'm going to get the opinion of professional jewellery maker who's been making since the womb, Deb. <laughs> Deb, obviously, gemstones never look as good on TV as they do in real life. No. You're seeing them in real life. What do you think? The colours are lovely. Just really beautiful. Emerald green. <laughs> <laughs> that's... Do you know what? That's, that's a great way of putting it because there are emeralds that are, have got a reddish tone to them, a brown yeah. tone, a black, very black tone. They are a very, they're a true, they're a textbook emerald. They're, they're proper emeralds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They are. And the, the clarity on some of those is, is unbelievable, really. Um, <laughs> but it's, what's really nice is you've got a whole range of tones in Which the strand. Very, and interestingly um, enough, you very rarely get from one source. Yes. Usually you have yeah. to jump to different sources for different hues of the green. So this that's a rarity yeah. in its own right. Because when you get, and I really would recommend you get a certificate of authenticity for this. If you pop onto our website or speak to the call centre, you can get them 50p. Now, the reason we don't do them for free is simply because it's a way for us to be able to get money, every single penny, and that's what it looks like. Every single penny goes to the Colourful Life Foundation or... Um, Actually, it's, it's got a new name, hasn't it? Oh. It's, um, yeah, it's just been sort of, in terms of charities and foundations, you can get different levels of them as they change their level. Now, because it's reading a certain amount of money and it's established or something, it's, it's changed, yeah, yeah, it's changed its name. Um, but it goes to the charity. So it will help support the schools that we're building, the hospitals that we're building, the libraries that we're building, for communities that are in the mining world. The whole essence of the company here at the Genuine Gemstone Company, I don't think is talked about anywhere near enough. When you're buying these emeralds, these are ethically sourced emeralds. And my goodness, because Steve has gone directly to the mines in Africa, you can bet your bottom dollar to the penny that Steve will be doing something to help the communities that have brought these emeralds to us. Seriously, life changing. This company and what Steve does is he's changing lives. He's changing lives. I couldn't have bought my house without him. Seriously, he keeps all of us in employment yeah. and looks after us very nicely with just, um, just giving you a bit of a background. It's a family run business. He's he, 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 you know, he takes care of, he was very aware, this is a company that's very aware and looks after the people to, I'm talking about the people who colour match the stones, the people who are in the mines, the people who run the security for the mines, because this will be a high run security mine, they're emeralds, you're buying emeralds just because you're paying £50 for them does not yeah. imply the worth or the value. So you're buying from a really credible company that takes care of every single person to me, the presenter, takes care of the person who is driving the miners to the mine. It's a very aware company that's doing everything in its power to support every single process and including supporting you as the customer by offering you a price of 50 pounds. Did I just go very, very then, did I just basically start preaching? A little bit, didn't I? It's just ace, 50 quid, it's amazing. 15 pounds for one of those strands, amazing. And the great thing is as well, is if you're not quite sure, you've got a 30 day money back guarantee. You know what? You are not being persuaded to buy this and then that's it, tough, you've parted with your money, bye. This is a, from the moment it's the day it arrives with you, that's when your 30 day money back guarantee kicks in. You can always send them back. This is stunning. And categorically, that's what I was talking about, certificate of authenticity, <laughs> coming full circle. Um, get them valued, get your piece of jewellery valued because there's just no way that this is implying a worth or a value. Do you know anywhere? And it's the quality, look at the depth of that colour. How many of you, right, do me a favour, how many of you are sat right now watching going, oh, do I do? 
Mm. Should I get it? Yeah. Because Cole has, Catherine has, Vivian has, Lynette has, lots of anonymous people have. Um, Pam has, Ellie has, Jane, June, Angela, Norma, Tony, Suzanne, uh, Christine, Claire. But some people that are bulk buying, and I'm not talking about one or two, seriously bulk buying there. I've got some serious, um, yeah, serious shoppers. So if you're thinking about it, never been a better time to get it. I can't imagine we'd ever do a better deal, to be honest. For that quality, go for it. Best of luck. We're going to go to the Wall of Fame now. Shall we go? Let's do it. Ooh. Wow. Three, five, seven. This is from uh, Charlotte Andrews. Hello, lovely. Hi, jewelry maker. Here's a photo of my first attempt. That is Paula McClay. It's a Paula McClay rose brooch for the Wall of Fame. What do you think? She's put. <laughs> That's, do you know what? I thought that was leather. It looks like um, a, a ribbon, a, a satin ribbon. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. I thought it, I thought it, it was is. leather. It's really fine. That's stunning. And obviously you are an expert in polymer clay as well. It's, and it looks actually the petals, they look like they could be real petals. <laughs> because they really, really do. It's amazing. Well done, mm. hun. Three five seven, good luck. Beautiful, beautiful, lovely colour. Uh three five eight. Uh from Karen Smith. Hi everyone at Jewelry Maker, here's my entry to this week's Wall of Fame. It's inspired by Gemma Crow's head... <laughs> that, that looked really strange then, because it's the end of the row, and it says Gemma Crow's head, and then it's piece, piece. on the next... Okay. Yeah. That will be head piece. Head piece, she made. It's made using <laughs> antique bronze wire and tiger's eye, both from JM. I've been inspired so much by all your guest designers. Keep up the amazing designs and great prices. Good luck, everyone. Karen from Stroud. Karen, that is Fab. gorgeous, hun. <laughs> Shut up. Right, my crew are really taking the mic out of me, and I just want to say something that I've just said when I was going into my big, let's talk about Steve. And yeah, let's just, let's just not talk about it again. And I went off on one, didn't I? <laughs> So I'm sorry about that. We're not scripted. Just ran away. My mouth ran away with myself. And three, five, nine. Let's look at this one. <laughs> this is beautiful. This is from um, Surrey in Hemel Hempstead, and it says, "Hi, Gem. Here's my third entry to the Wall of Fame. It's my first attempt at something new. Putting to use the guys from Laura Binding's wire work course. That's what Laura's doing, of course, right now." I hope it's good enough to make the wall of fame as it would make my day if it was being shown. The stone is a dark blue agate and both the stone and the wire from JM. It's far from perfect but it was a pleasure to make, she says. I love all the inspiration from the wall of fame entries and all your guest designers so a huge thank you to all. Kind regards from Surrey in Hamel Hempstead. It's beautiful. I'll make sure Laura sees that mm. later as well. Good luck. 359. Okay, this is 360. Um, and it says, hello, my name is Anne Lochran. I hope I've said that right. And I'm from a wee place called Dorsey, which is in Ireland. I've been watching Jewelry Maker for three years and I haven't missed an episode. Wow. That's, that's an <laughs> amazing, isn't that it? That is amazing. That's a lot. Um, my favourite presenters are Carol and Sheila. As I find when they're on, they always make me laugh. I love Carol's saying, it's low buffalo low. <laughs> <laughs> I make jewellery for pastime because I haven't been well and I really enjoy making jewellery. I hope you like my necklace that I've made um, this week. I just want to say hello everyone in Jewellery Maker and to keep doing what you're doing. I also want to wish Carol a happy birthday and I hope she had a great day. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Oh Louise, I will pass on that. She will love to hear oh, that message. Anne. Thank you. It's Gorgeous. From Anne. She's using oh sorry. Louise's. From Anne. Anne. And you've used Louise's there. Uh, Anne, I'll make sure she gets that message. It's a beautiful set of jewellery, hun. Well done to you. And then the final one for now. 
Oh. Yeah, 361. Christina, hello, lovely. Hi, all at JM. Here's my entry to the Wall of Fame. It's a simple choker, and the gems are faceted peach moonstone drops, which I bought from JM months back. Smoky Quartz 95, Sewing Silver Rose, Gold Overlay Findings. Love the show and cannot resist the bargains. Just received my recent order, Icing on the Cake Boutique Collection, and the gems are absolutely gorgeous. Good luck, everyone, from Christina. What a lovely email, Christina. That, your macrame work is extraordinarily neat, isn't it? Mm. That's amazingly neat. Well done, hun. You are three, six, one. Right. I'm just going to go and give myself a good talking to, <laughs> sit down and eat some strawberries. And when we come back, we have got the sapphires and they are just stunning. They're lovely. Day. Yep. Very nice. Colour, tone, Everything. clarity, lovely. Yep. It's a strand of loveliness. Coming up for you after the break. A strand of loveliness. <laughs> Do you need a helping hand to get started with Jewelry Maker? Are you stuck for ideas and need inspiration? Then visit our Jewelry Maker website where you can find our video tutorials. Expand your knowledge and skills with these easy to follow jewelry making demonstrations. Whether you're a beginner, hobbyist or business owner, there's always something new to learn. It couldn't be easier. Simply click and learn some new jewellery making techniques. You can now keep in touch by liking Jewellery Maker UK on Facebook. Get interactive with Jewellery Maker. If you miss a Jewellery Maker show, then simply go to our YouTube page where you'll be able to find hours of Jewellery Maker footage. Search by show, date or type. Alternatively, search by guest designer by using our playlist page. You can also find hours of tutorials with handy hints and tips to give you inspiration. Our YouTube page is updated on a daily basis, so you can access any show at any time. Stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can now keep in touch by following Jewelry Maker on Twitter. Get interactive with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker course gift vouchers are now available. You can choose from a bronze, silver or gold voucher. Each voucher is worth a different amount that entitles you to put towards a course of your choice. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. You can now watch clips from Jewelry Maker on our YouTube channel. Get interactive with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker have an extensive range of DVDs for all abilities. Each of our mediums has an introductory DVD to help you get started. If you're already an experienced jewellery maker, we have a collection of projects and more advanced DVDs to take your designs to the next level. We are always filming new DVDs with our specialist guest designers, so visit our website for more information. Everything about this is everything you want it to be. When we say pink sapphires, there's nothing red about them. They're not on the cusp of, of ruby, and they're, so they're very definitively a pink sapphire in their own right. Now, pink sapphire is actually turning to be quite a chosen gemstone for engagement rings. I notice you've got a tanzanite engagement uh -huh. ring it's beautiful yes. and it's really becoming a lot more on trend to have um, colored gemstones for engagement rings again diamonds is actually it was a bit of a phase pretty much from the 60s um, Claire saying her friend has just got engaged with a pink sapphire these are um, truly feminine and truly truly beautiful now, interestingly enough, they are from Africa, which is where we're seeing a huge amount of gemstones of the high quality so, and, and the rarer types. So uh, diamonds, of course, we know there's a huge amount of diamonds that are sourced 
uh, in Africa. And then of course we've just had the emeralds on and now sapphires. And sapphires and rubies are in the same family and we do get a beautiful African rubies. They've gone through a heat treatment, so what that's indicative of is that when they were first sourced, a colour could be seen, and when the miners found this source initially, they'll have been absolutely bowled over. So in order to heat treat a gemstone, there has to be the base there, there has to be everything you want it to be, but you know if you were to take it to an extraordinarily high temperature that you can't do in a domesticated oven, on a domestic oven, not I don't know if you've domesticated your oven. Uh, Uses it the well. litter tray. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, litter trays, umbilical cords, and whatever else we're talking about there. Anyway, back to the sapphires. Um, mm. It's you can see if it was taken, so that it just gives it the edge. It draws out that natural colour that's there. N C J N. 82 is the code. Now this, this is a note on the system actually, that we believe this is quite possibly the finest quality pink sapphire we've ever had. It's a big bold statement to make in the show today, and we've just said the same about the emeralds. But it's true. We have gone directly to, again, the source in Africa, and again, this has gone through exactly the same process. The larger pink sapphires, of which there were very few actually, um, were chosen to make jewellery on Rocks TV and Gems TV. And some of the loose gemstones have gone to Gem Collector and then some pieces go over to the lounge as well. Which So all the studios here at the Genuine Gemstone Company, the different outlets for buying jewellery or just gemstones it may be. So there's 40 carats in this strand. I have in my hand 40 carats of incredible quality pink sapphire. What's very striking is the balance between colour and clarity. That natural colour that's literally just been enhanced by heat is incredibly perfect, I, I think. I really, really believe that these are a perfect pink sapphire they are everything you would want them to be now i think they're also screaming bridal jewelry to have pink sapphires would be beautiful you could easily make these into stud earrings for sizable stud earring i think you'd probably be working with about that portion there um probably from the six by four uh, down to about the four mil i probably wouldn't go any smaller than a four mil in its diameter to be fair n c J N eight two. Free phone number oh eight hundred six double four six double five. Now they will be a considered purchase. <clears throat> but for what you are going to be receiving, and interestingly enough, people who've already confirmed their purchase have also bought the emeralds. This will be, it absolutely, it's going to be a considered purchase. It absolutely is. But to get this strand for less, and I'm not implying a worth or a value for this, but to get this strand for less than £100 is amazing. Because of the buying power of the company that you watch every day, that you trust, that have, you've helped to grow over the last four years, Because of who we are with being one of the largest sources of genuine gemstones in the world, we can blow any expected price out of the water. It's a quality I really expect you, I, I really um, would advise that you get this, um, what's the word, valued, thank you. Um, and I really, really would expect you to be using probably either a 925 sterling silver plus on this. You don't have to, of course. About a third of the stock's gone. And I think that's very telling. I don't have anybody new, and I think that is a, therefore very telling that every single person who has bought this has bought from us before. So you know our quality, you know the expectation when we're saying that this is incredibly high end. This is a gemstone strand of distinction. This isn't an average strand, this is a gemstone strand of distinction. 
the clarity, the colour, the cut and the carrot weight, the extraordinary clarity, the perfect colour matching, everything about this leads us to know that it is an amazing high strand. We're going to bring a price in. We promised you under £100. How much under uh, £100 do you think we can go? Should we do it £79.95? Or should we just do something absolutely ridiculous? I do not want to affect your dog's ears. We have got so many of you with this in your baskets. It's sapphires, it's September's birthstone, it's the 15th and 40th wedding anniversary gemstone. It's the, um, sorry, that's ruby, isn't it? I've just said that for sapphires, 15th and 40th. I've completely, mis I've completely lost my track about, we're just gonna double check. Can you have a look at my notes? I've got a big file of notes that I keep in there. Um, for anniversaries, I mean, it is beautiful. For a piece of jewelry like this, Wedding day, it's the 45th and 70th wedding anniversary. 0800 644 6 70th wedding anniversary. Wow, <laughs> that's going some. That's that's amazing. That would be amazing. Do you know what? It's just if you love it. It's a gemstone that if you love and adore, we are making truly, truly, truly affordable. If you just think about a price of a pair of sapphire stud earrings on the high street, it's indicative of pure... Do you know what I'd love to do with this? Oh, do you know what I'd love to do with this? I don't know if I'm allowed to say on air what I'm allowed I would do with it. There's a certain charity that has this as its colour. And I probably, and I do a donation to that charity every year. So if I bought this strand, made pieces out of this and sold on, you could literally donate everything because you'd make your money back. So that would be like doing a 50 pound donation and then making money for charity as well. Mm. That'd be amazing, wouldn't it? Would. Do you know, we have tried so hard to hook up with other charities. It's so difficult. Most of them don't let you do it. Don't let you sell products on their behalf. Really? really? Yeah, it's, I've tried to do it so many times. Mm. I suppose it's their reputation, isn't it? So like, they have to, yeah, I suppose. but even so, you'd think that they'd be happy that yeah. you wanted to support. It just means that we have to do it in a roundabout way. So by yeah. buying it and then, uh, Doing it. Lovely text that's just coming from Emily in the West Midlands. Hi, uh, This is just two words. Perfectly beautiful. Absolutely, Emily. Yeah, thank you for texting in that. Mm. I really hope you can get it. I do appreciate it's not going to be in everybody's price bracket. It's not. Can you imagine how many pieces of jewellery? What would you do with a strand like this, Deb? Um, I'd, I'd be tempted to use it all in one piece and mm. do something um, quite statementy with it because with that the, the the consistency of the color mm. along the strand is is amazing um so it would be nice to use them all in one piece and do a really delicate neckline piece mm. um with just with those on pale um maybe like um just a, a very pale uh color thread or something or some some love oh rose go gold would look amazing mm. with that mm. um, but yeah I'd put it into a neckline piece mm. and and a pit uh, some matching earrings as well it is just stunning we have got people buying it's more beautiful than one. it is really 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 exquisite a few more people still yet to check this out of their basket you know what? I'm with you, Claire. That director Claire's just saying she thinks the kyanite would look amazing with it. Mm. Oh. The kyanite brings out the pinks of the Ooh. sapphires, and the sapphires bring out the blue of the kyanite, don't they? That does look nice. <gasps> yeah. Doesn't it? It does. That's beautiful. Yeah. 
let's do this kind of like put in this is stunning these do you know what strikes me first of all about this strand the size of size them. yeah and the carrot weight that's yeah. a weighty strand that's 90 carats now um it's 15 centimeters that does go from bead to bead just so you know it doesn't include the tassels so 15 centimeters they go from a five by two up to an eight by three now they're really hang on hang on hang on i'm going to be really honest with you i thought we were looking at coated I've been sat here the whole time thinking they were coated and I'll tell you why because they sparkle completely but now I'm looking at them up close they're sparkling like that completely natural. these are totally and utterly natural it's the facets that's giving that sparkle do you see what I mean they're amazing the depth of color on those yeah. for one thing um, the size um, and the sparkle yeah they're, they're amazing they are really amazing oh I'm loving these right Deb Put you on the spot again. What okay. would you do with these? Um, they might have to be a bracelet. Mm. Um, so I think I'd quite like to do like um, you could bead loom with them and do a triangular section on a bracelet and mix it in with some macrame cords, some of the S long cord, um, that really deep blue colour that we had mm. earlier, and make a, a just a big statement piece of um, like a bracelet beautiful yeah because they they're graduated aren't they as they well are, so yeah from a five they, by two to an eight yeah. by three that sparkles amazing I'm just actually thinking as well because I'm I don't know if you've noticed that I'm slightly obsessed with this cuff today um, <laughs> don't you think oh that'd be pretty wouldn't it is that okay yeah we've got people multi buying on this strand Beautiful. Y S R U one eight. Free phone number oh eight hundred six triple four six double five. The code is Y S R U one eight. Now we are coming towards the end of the show. Okay. It does come from the Greek word of kainos, meaning blue. Now because, as well, this is um, it's an incredibly play, uh, it's got a pleochroic, it's got really strong pleochroism um, to it. So it's, it's just going to sparkle, really, really sparkle. It's got a very high refractive index on it. So I'm using all these technical terms now, but I know this. And this is why it almost looks coated because it is so, 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 so sparkly. If it's good, good quality. Now, there is a, there's a problem, just so you know. Okay, there's a real problem with this gemstone. And at the moment, we have only got two parcels on average a year. Those parcels might be... Um, then spread across Gems TV and Rocks TV as well, but two parcels a year. They're incredibly, incredibly hard to get hold of kyanite gemstones. So when we get it, you need to buy it. It's not a gemstone that we stock all the time. You can't just go on the website and see kyanite. You can with Onyx, you can with Agate. With kyanite, you just can't. So it's a case of buying it when you can. Now that deep intoxicating blue is extraordinarily rich. It's almost, um, the blue I want to compare it it's like a deep shimmering lagoon it's it's really really out of this world Emily hello lovely kind of has got a big ooh from me you've got to have a bit of sparkle oh Emily I'm loving your text today ooh I'm with you I'm totally with you now interestingly enough it's also associated with Aries Taurus and Libra if you're interested as well so if that, that's a reason why you might be looking for one. Now it's completely natural. Do you know what? We spent enough time talking about it. We just need to bring in the price for you. So it's 90 carats. They are stunning rondelles. Free phone number 0800 644 655. I can't believe this. Are you ready? 40? Nah. 21.95. That, that, the, oh. <laughs> Speechless for once. The, the colour and 
just everything about that strand is yeah. beautiful. We're actually going to count the gemstones. Remember, it's only an estimate because you're guaranteed 90 carats. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Fifty. You're going to get approximately fifty for twenty-one ninety-five. Now, how gorgeous for the something blue for a bride! Mm. Just you know, sneak one of those into a beautiful tiara or on a garter or just at the back of a necklace or something. Beautiful. I actually think as well that these look incredible alongside some good quality labradorite. Yes, that would look stunning. Wouldn't it? It would. Yeah. Or. Um, you know the blue tiger's eye that would look amazing as well because yeah. it's got the same the hawk's sort of... eye yeah. yeah gosh we've not seen that Beauty. in donkeys no. we need some more to hawk's eye in can we get some hawk's eye please 0800 644 655 stunning Oh, 800, 644, 655. YSRU18. Beautiful. Now, we are going to go to another amazing high end strand, Aquamarine. Oh, we're going to do what? Let's do a brand new strand of Aquamarine under 20 pounds, and they're huge. Look at the side. Oh. Wow. I love Aquamarine. Why do you love Aquamarine, Ooh. Deb? Um. I'm a Piscean, mm. so it's sea-like and it's Watery. water, <laughs> yeah, and the shape of those, the drops of, they just look like drops of water. Yeah. Oh, that's a really lovely point, yeah. They're, we they're hardly amazing. ever get this shape no. in aquamarine. No. Certainly not the length of them. The, yeah, the size of those is amazing. The shape, because they're, they're really elegant because mm. they're elongated. Doesn't it just so, make you want to put them with pearls? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Maybe with some cashy pearls. They would look stunning with that kyanite, actually. In a, with the kyanite in between. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. <gasps> look at that. Oh, that's lovely. That is beautiful. talking about do you know what what has just Water. happened the work of god has just happened because of deb <laughs> blame me <laughs> <laughs> this is first like stop don't get deep again lucy she mentions water the heavens have opened Oh my God, can like you not it. hear it? <gasps> really heavy rain. Yeah. Really heavy rain. Oh, do you know what? I near, do you know, thank you, thank you. Because I nearly took my old, my, my car, um, my old car, my car, um, through the um, uh, doodah on the way home. Thing. I was going to take it out through the car wash on the way home. I was really having to build up to it because I get a bit claustrophobic. I can't stand them. And I was thinking, no, because we've got, still got that Sahara dust all over yeah. it because it's still stuck to everything. I was like, no, I'm going to go and treat myself to a car wash. I know the exciting things that I do with my life. A treat, a car wash. Don't have to now. <laughs> no. Oh, goodness. I wish I should have put some... Um, Good grief. Foamy, soapy stuff all over it, and then just let the rain wash it off, shouldn't I? Right, should we crack on? I'm obviously low in blood sugar, I need to go home. <laughs> oh, 800, 655, W E R U 94, 135, wrong one, a carrots of aquamarine. Oh dear, 12 by 6 up to 32 by 10. These are amazing, and again, look, they are completely totally and utterly natural when i look at something like that i put myself into the position of the miners can you imagine how they felt <sighs> if when they saw pieces yeah. of aquamarine like this yeah the elation there must have been 
they, they are huge pieces. Yeah. And they, they are stunning. I love them. So go on, designs. So with the kyanite in between. Oh. I'd, I'd think um, I'd keep it quite simple and classic with that because the stones, both of those gems are just so phenomenal. Mm. Oh. Mm. Oh. Actually, so I actually can't be a cam salivating. <laughs> they're, they're so beautiful. Um, I wouldn't want to, to sort of cramp them, if you like, by having far too much stuff going on. Mm. And the shape is so elegant and classic. Beautiful. Some beautiful long drop earrings, just one on mm. on chain. And um, what yeah. about headdresses that are really in as yeah. well? Yeah. Maybe using one of the. Or turn them up the, the other way. Ones. On um, <gasps> a headband, turn them up the other oh, way. Wow, yeah. Make so it they very stand up. Yes. Yeah. So support them with wire. Wire, yeah. That would be amazing, wouldn't it? Because a lot of people go for a more sort of crown-esque tiara. Yeah. yeah. Just five of them probably um, in the centre section with some white pearls. That could be a very vintage look, maybe mm. for, in a flower with pearls as well, wouldn't it? We haven't yeah. even brought the price in, they're flying out. Oh, 0800 <laughs> 644 Oh. <laughs> look at the face. Mm. Oh. I'm oh, we Well, how many have we got left, Kim? They're stunning. We've got a good quantity of them, which is why oh, the price good. is low. So hopefully at the end of the show, but yeah. we have got people more to buy. Because I see the call screens, please, Kimberly. Thank you. I like to see it because then I can see, yeah, I've got a lot of people that are buying all the high-end strands today. Go for it. Congratulations to you. I've got people bulk buying as well. Multi-buying and bulk buying. Free phone number 0800 644 I'm still embarrassed about my little... <laughs> Your little ramble. My little ramble. I'm mortified, actually. Oh, how was your bluebell walk? Oh, it was lovely. Was it? Oh, it was lovely. I should bring in some photographs. Yeah, it was yeah. lovely. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Good. Uh, yeah, I went on a bluebell walk in the afternoon after. It was nice to get some fresh air um, <laughs> after eating all those donuts and spending the yes. morning in here. Yeah, we just went for a couple of hours. We did went to a beautiful bluebell walk. It's fab because um, it was in a village local to here, and it's some owners of some private land, and they open it up for two days out of the year each year, and you pay five pounds entry, and it goes to a local charity, and it was for um, young adults with learning difficulties and they must have raised gosh thousands and thousands and thousands oh. and it was utterly stunning breathtaking and really inspiring for for just to be in here we go mm. i'm gonna wax lyrical again oh, no. i'll set you off now <laughs> just to be in nature inspires yes. you and i don't contact yeah. nature enough but just things like <laughs> i don't contact nature but i was looking at the bluebells thinking Oh, yeah. there's little drops. I could do little drops of amethyst and eye light, little droplets. And then there were some random bright white ones in the mix oh, as well. Oh, yes, yeah. Which were get, like, really, really pretty. I did yeah. quite a lot of photography. Nice. I like to think I'm good at it. I'm rubbish. But I quite like it, feeling arty and going, oh, I could make that blurry. And Charlie, smile. And he's like, yeah. what? <laughs> oh, flower, flower, <laughs> mummy. <laughs> Flower, daddy, flower. And like he said that for about two hours because that's oh. all there was to see, really. Um, but no, we absolutely loved it. Thank you. Good. Really loved it. And I, I hope the uh, charity made, yeah, loads of money. Right, we're going to recap. Thank you. <laughs> I love this one. How are you doing with your challenge, Deb? Oh. One thing right. made. She's fab. You have done some amazing demos for us. And apparently we have been inundated with messages asking for a designer inspiration show for this, okay. this and this, okay. and the blue one, and the basically everything they want designer inspiration then. for. <laughs> Don't you folks, go for it. Hello, poor Scott. Hello. And then desperate for you to do workshops and DVDs. Okay. I think it's fair to say she's a keeper. I've been told. You have been told. <laughs> do please, please, please do 
uh, send in your suggestions for what you would like to see as well because obviously yeah. if we can fulfill your requirements that's brilliant um, and if you have any suggestions for me as well how to not ramble etc you can contact me on Lucy Nichols presenter on Facebook right then <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear, I've had a I've had a weird couple of days. I think that's what that's it is. That's good. Hello, posh Scott. Hello. Weird days are good. Now, I've had a very very strange couple of days. I think I think I'm just feeling grateful. Yes. I'm feeling good. I am. I'm feeling really grateful. I am as well. That's lovely. It's nice, isn't Life's it? Life's good. Yeah. Yeah. Feeling very. Yeah. <laughs> they won't let us work together again. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> What's these complaints I've been having about you talking about umbilical cords? <laughs> Hello, Pop Pro Scott's just walked in. He's like, what? What? What, what, what? what is possibly going on here? I haven't got a clue. <laughs> Obviously, Posh Scott talks like Elvis. So, we've got the S class <laughs> extender chains with the ribbon cord ends. Can we go home? <laughs> Ah. Oh, dearie me, 6 95 you do of course get your Kumihimo cord ends as well. You're going to be getting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. The extender chain, the ribbon cord ends and the S clasps, all for just 6 95 And you do get the little storage box as well, which we've already established <laughs> in today's show that Deb would like to get this and then possibly put, put it in inside it. Hmm. another storage box yeah. and then inside a bag and that would go inside another bag and yeah. I think we might need to have a little conversation about this <laughs> after the show. XMA Z20. I'm feeling grateful. A little bit weird. <laughs> <laughs> Only a little bit. That's a good day then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you cheeky little minx, you. <laughs> Do you feel a bit? Spacey. Yeah. I get that. Do you know lot. why I think it is? You know what I've realised? Well, I've usually had about four cups of tea through the show, and because we've been talking so much, I haven't even finished one cup. Yes. I bet you that's what it is. Mm. <laughs> My body's shutting down with lack of tea. I'm I'm, I'm detoxing. <laughs> I'm detoxing through getting the show. The shakes. I'm getting a tea aura. Tea aura. Having... That's quite a nice name. Tea aura. Nice name for a mermaid. <laughs> Why did I say that? I could have not said anything, it would have been fine. Yeah, I finally realised who you remind me of. You? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I really know. hope not. I'm so sorry, Claire. I've just put my microphone on the desk. Oh, for your sake, I really hope not. No, there's this character in a fairy land in Charlie's this little kids programme and she's she's absolutely out there with the fairies. And she's ace and it's her. And you actually look like her as well. Okay. I've never seen this program. I'll make I'll introduce <laughs> you. It'll be a life changing experience. Should we go on to the next collection? Do you think that's, that's a what good it idea. is? Ha haven't I usually had about four or five cups of tea? And I haven't even finished one. That's I've what it is. One, I feel weird. Yeah. That's why I'm grateful. I'm grateful to the world. Right. Let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> Is that you, Kim? Kim just saying, get her a cup of tea quick. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this collection. We're also going to do this at six ninety-five for you today. Oh eight hundred six triple four six double five. We'll have a look at the image again for you. Oh dear! Brilliant show. You both made me laugh from Irene in Tyne and Weir. Oh, Excellent. Irene, thanks. It's been quite a chilled out but Yeah. Amusing four hours. I think bemusing might be more the word. 
Um, it's, do you know what, though, we were saying we're really quiet earlier because of the birthday show. It's gone bonkers. We're just really busy. Amelia, how are you doing there, my little poppet? So do you think that's why I'm being a bit... I, I'm not usually asked for, like, three million cups of tea. I think you're going strange. You think I'm going strange? It's just not occurred to me. <laughs> Deb's got an anti-tea effect on me. That's not good, is it? Don't worry, it's cake tomorrow. I'll make up for it. <laughs> Sunday, isn't it? Tomorrow, we've got to have cake. What cake? I don't know. What cake would you like, team? Are you with us tomorrow, Kerry? No. Uh, tiramisu would be good. Ew. A full-on tiramisu pudding. <laughs> we can't yeah. eat pudding. It's got to be cake. It's got to be cake, cake. Don't I might like bake tiramisu. one. Shall I make cake? Oh, yes. Yeah, but health and safety, it might not be allowed. Kerry's like that. <laughs> no, don't do that. Right, where should we go to next then, Kimbo? Okay, we have some more of the massive threading pack. Here we go. The suede cord. And of course, we've got that one there as well. That's the suede. Then this is all the... Well, no, it's not actually. Because we've got... Oh, no, hang on. We've got loads more. Oh, no, we've got... Okay, here we go. Suede cords, wax cords, satin cords. A hundred and forty meters of cord. So suede, wax, and satin. On the suede, you get five meters of each, and on the wax and on the satin, you get ten meters of each gonna last you and last you and last you because 140 meters hundred and forty meters and we worked out that Deb had used about four to five meters in that incredibly intricate piece and that was maximum so you are going to be able to do some amazing and a lot of amazing designs with these your suede is measure is measure, uh, measuring one millimeter in thickness the satin is one mil and oh and the wax is one mil as well i think that suede that's wrong i think that suede cords two that suede is two millimeters that's wrong yeah it's definitely two millimeters 140 meters in total suede wax and satin 0800 644 now it's usually just over 30 pounds was it 31 pounds 70 31 pounds 70 and it's just 17 pounds 0800 Six trouble four six trouble five. Now we are building up to a fantastic afternoon for you with Jill, one of our new guest designers. Who, the only thing I know about Jill is that because of Jill, we're bringing in a whole new area of jewelry making to Jewelry Maker. Do you know what that is, Deb? I don't. I don't no. either. No idea. Oh. No. Or well, may may well be revealed. Now I can tell you though that Jill's got a tote bag absolutely packed full of lots of spiky things looks exciting <laughs> right things. deb we're not working Hello. together again i'm not working with you <laughs> it's too dangerous dangerous yeah okay this kit is bang on actually it's not because we'd be half a penny more if we were bang on mm. but it's half the price it should have been <gasps> oh look at this now we gave this to deb to use in her challenge today 10 yards of 10 different colours of the hemp cord and you've got all the bright colours and then the more muted tones at the back 50 metres of beading thread, 6 metres of clear elastic, 80 metres of monofilament 114 findings and a metre of chain and this is um, one of the original finding packs that we are soon to say goodbye to so take advantage of it now satin cord in the cream, the red, the pink, the peach and, and the um, vibrant orange the wax cord in two hues of blue and then the blue sparkle suede and the pink sparkle suede and the gemstones I mean this is an incredible <laughs> amount of Masses. gemstones it's an incredible transformation that Jenny's done as well 
Wow, wasn't expecting that to be able to happen today. <laughs> Spilt burger down the dress. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's all right, we're all friends. Agate in the pink, the amazing fuchsia swirls of agate. Those incredible big blue banded agates. And then that gorgeous red agate, classified as a red, but really a sunstone hue, a carnelian hue. So, Deb has literally had about 40 <laughs> seconds throughout the whole four hours to do something. But tell us what you've done. That's with the suede. It looks amazing. Suede cord, yeah. Um, it's got memory wire. So Inside the... Oh, wow. You use the memory wire as your lazy strand. Yeah. And then you just tie on the suede cord. It uses... That do you design stretch uses out the, whole... the memory wire while you're doing it or do you keep it in the circle? Um, what I do is I put a loop on one end, yeah. pin that to my macrame board and then with the other end I stick it into the side of the macrame board. So you make it into a bit more of a so scoop it's... so you don't yeah. distort it too much. Okay, yeah. cool. But what Wicked. that does, it stops you getting caught up on the um, memory wire because it, it does cut, it's quite sharp. Um, and just holds it steady so you can then macrame round and then these are just popped on with um, loops like we attached our cords wow. earlier okay and then these are crimp bead covers on that the end the, so the silver beads yeah. using the crimp bead covers out of the kit that looks gorgeous on the suede out. That's a really great uh, little tip there. Thank you so much. And then you were just doing. <laughs> they're so on fashion. They're like, so oh, on quick, trend. Make something else. <laughs> so you've just done, I talk about these all the time though. They're so, so simple and easy to make. Just as a little. I mean, you, yeah. yeah, you would totally. You would pay. Um, Kim's just saying she sees those in some shops. Pay about twelve pounds for one of those. Crikey! A gemstone on it. Yeah, absolutely. And particularly with the red colour and silver, it's really on trend. Mm. So we're about to lose it. If you're currently watching on Freeview or on Five Star, please do continue to watch us on Sky or Virgin or on JewelryMaker.com or indeed on YouTube. You can watch us live on our YouTube channel. But coming up for you next, brand new guest designer Jill with Posh Scott. <laughs> and then you've got Danny who is producing and presenting. She spilt burger down a dress, but I think it's come out with baby wipes, so you might be all right. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Jenny Cleary is up next. I'll see you tomorrow morning for cake. It's going to be a cracking show this afternoon. See you soon. Take care. Thank you Bye. to you. Bye. Thank you. Bye.